All right, so now we're live. Now we have to share the stream. I think we'll see people start pouring in quick here. Guys, you've been hyping me up. Well, yeah, I'm hyping you up. <laughs> I always hype you up. That's love, though. Make sure you go share the stream. Yo, yo, yo. Make sure you guys go share the stream. So I just said it. Five viewers already? God damn. Now they about to pour in here. They've been, they've been waiting on this one. <laughs> I'm telling you, this, this is like the most anticipated John that I've had. Like even on the channel, forget the charity stream. They've been they've been wanting to do this like the whole time. Okay. Like a whole hour. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna... Nah, Emma is different. <laughs> this, I guarantee you, like one try again, you're gonna understand. You're gonna understand. Uh, we doing the whole Emma Hamburger album. Let's see. Album. You live. What's happening? All right. Tweets out. Go retweet it. Um, boom, boom, boom. You good? Absolutely. All right, so let's do this real quick. Hey, 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 hey. We got, we got some comments already. Take this opportunity real quick, guys, before we get started on this portion of the stream. Please go and share the stream. Uh, this, this is, I'm going to redo my little monologue that I gave from the first one because the audio quality was bad. Uh, I'm going to introduce my brother Elijah who's here. Um, he's going to be live for us for a few hours until he feels like bailing, uh, for not just the album review, but the reactions and everything like that that comes after. there. So, uh, if you guys don't, if you guys are just tuning in right now because you're here for the MI album review and you guys have been hounding me for it for months, um, I appreciate you guys for tuning in, uh, but we are here for a very dope reason. I had a, a very opportunistic chance to go and meet with a, a movement in Nigeria called Chess and Slums. Their entire movement is about giving opportunity to underprivileged children uh, and just give them the opportunity for education and going through their program. And I wanted to have the opportunity to raise money for them. Uh, I had an awesome meeting with uh, Tundi, who was the, the founder, the creator of it, and he wanted to do a partnership. He thought I was really excited about it. He checked the channel out. He thinks it's good to get it in front of new eyes. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, this is probably the dopest thing that could have happened for this channel. If I can make an impact that actually makes an impact in someone's life outside of me creating a channel to just talk my trash, if we can actually do something good for a community, I don't care if it's here in my backyard or across the world. I'm just all about having that chance to help somebody. And this is dope. So a couple of things happened. Number one, I started hitting up my connects and I reached out to Tim Koontz from Grayswear. Uh, when I told him about the charity event, I told him what we were doing. He immediately asked me like, yo, what is the goal? What is it you guys are doing? When I spoke with Sunday, he said $500 is the amount that it costs to put a kid's tuition for a year through the program. All right. So I was like, cool. The goal is to raise $500 for the stream. Um, if we can do that, plus raise awareness, it's going to be awesome. I don't think people that watch hip hop reaction channels are necessarily the ones that are going out to charity events and know about this stuff. So it's good to get the movement in front of new eyes that may not have been exposed to it prior to that. That's super fucking dope. You know what I mean? Uh, the second that I said this, Tim stopped me and he's like, look, how about this? I'm going to give you the first $500. I'm going to donate it on behalf of Go Grayswear. And, and then we have to make the goal 1000 from there. Completely blew me away. He has nothing to gain, absolutely nothing to gain from this other than my love and affection. Um, and th to just help somebody out of the goodness of his heart. So we hit our goal before the stream ever started today. And, yo, that, that means that, like, it's so fire, dog. Like, there's a chance that we do this for all day and we get no donations. And all we do is raise awareness, which is still dope because I'm doing my part of what I can, right? Absolutely. And then obviously what I, what I want to donate myself. But to, to start this off and know that no matter what, we've already raised enough money to help one kid for an entire year, that's fucking incredible. It's if you guys have the opportunity to donate, please, please go the, the description. I've taken out all of my own personal links, nothing for my Discord, my merch, all of that's gone. The only thing that's there is the GoFundMe link. Uh, I don't handle any of the funds, nothing like that myself. Everything is going directly to the movement's GoFundMe page. Um, by all means, if you can afford it, do it. If you can't, it's cool. I still love y'all, and I appreciate if you guys will go retweet the stream so that they can get new eyes on them. And this is my point. 
I don't look for charity streams. I'm not a charity guy. I'm a bad person nine times out of ten. Ten times, like, out of ten. Ten times like I'm not like yo. I'm I'm being honest. That's that's not who I've ever been. But somebody on my timeline retweeted the Chess and Slums movement. I seen it, and now we have an entire charity event that's going on. We've raised enough money to help a kid already. Like that's powerful. So go retweet their stuff because even if you can't afford it, you never know when the next me is going to be looking at it and they're going to be in a better position to actually help people. And it's going to be because, oh, I love energy drinks. It's going to be because you did your part to go retweet and bring awareness. That's that's like like straight up, like it's the, it's the coolest thing we could do. Now, don't get me wrong. We're still here for the violence. I'm still here for the bars. I'm still here to talk my trash. That makes it even better. The fact that I am someone that does not identify as a good person but I still have the opportunity to do good things is incredibly important, dog. So no matter who you are, where you are in life, or what you're thinking about this, nothing like that. If you do your part, you can still bring good into the world. And that's fucking dope, dog. Like, that's that's amazing. Then we're doing shit like this. So now we're doing the entire Am I a Baga album review, right? Ooh. You guys have been wanting this, John. Ooh. This is going to be Elijah's first time ever hearing an Am I. He has no idea what he's in for. None. None of just, all of it. He just hears African hip hop. He's like, all right, let's, let's see what it's hitting for. He, he's in for a surprise. I haven't heard, I don't think I've heard a single track off of this, but I've done enough research on Am I. We've reacted to enough Am I to have a good idea of, of what it's hitting for. The next coolest thing about this being part of the charity stream is like whether you love or hate MI, he does a lot for the community, dog. Right now, he's got a competition that's going out for rappers in Nigeria where you go get your PVC, that's like registering the vote. Mm -hmm. And he's like, it's a you have a chance to win a million naira. And what this is like, um, I, I don't know what that equates to with USD. Money. Yeah, money. money. You get a chance to win a lot of money <laughs> and hear it from some of the, the dopest fucking MCs that are in Niger right now. And then on top of that. The point is to rap. You have to have your PVC, show it in the, the, the thing, and then you also have to, like, rap about it, right? Okay. For, for, to gain nothing. Like, I don't know that MI gains anything from that other than trying to fix the country that he's in, which is super fucking dope. And that's, that's all we're doing now is trying to bring a little bit of fucking positivity and shit like that into some shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, like, MI is not sponsoring this. I don't know if he knows about it or not. I think he's, he's seen a tweet or two. But, like, I regardless of if, if an artist – messes with it or not we're always going to push the, the, the artists that are that are doing positive messages for the community for the hip-hop culture because that's what i'm all about and honestly i, I can't imagine am i of all people being against anything you know what i'm saying like he's he's busy doing his own charity thing yeah. with his with his contest yeah. like we about to eat on this shit though um so yeah that, that's 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 pretty much all that uh the, the other two major contributors that i want to talk about too since you guys are all tuned into this one uh, huge shout out to Battle Rap Nigeria. If you guys aren't familiar, I work hand in hand with Battle Rap Nigeria a lot because they have some of the illest MCs on the fucking planet over there. When I talked about the stream that we were fucking doing, they jumped on it in a fucking heartbeat. And Jung was like, yo, we about to go and like pull this one out. Whatever you need from us, let me know. We'll retweet it. We'll bring awareness. Flow Show was already in the stream. Huge shout out to Unk. You know what I'm saying? Showing love. He's the other fan. Like, co yo, man, like... It's been nothing but love. After this, we're going to do BRN Hour, where we're going to go react to some of the battles from over there, as well as the Wave God album. It's going to be fucking fire. Uh, and then lastly, I've already talked about it. I've been tweeting about it, too. Huge shout out to Tucci, who's an A&R uh, in Niger, who provide. Look at this list he provided us with. If y'all can see my screen, look at this fucking list that he provided. That's pretty fucking intense. Like, and, and he hasn't had a miss yet. Like, they, they've been different sounds all over the place. I've never heard of the fucking artist that they did. Even someone I clicked on a wrong video, and it was still fire. Like, That's what I tuned in. Yes, I mean, it's like, what the fuck is this? I got tears in my eyes. I didn't know what was going on, but it was lit. So, uh, yeah, huge shout out to Tucci for that. And, again, the, 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 the coolest thing about these people that have helped put this together and have participated in this is that they don't gain anything from it other than love and affection you know what i'm saying like everybody is doing this to try and and push a movement that's gonna help kids in need like most of us hate people but everybody loves kids <laughs> so like it yeah i mean yeah, like uh, uh, um, parents parents we want the best for kids <laughs> we want the best for kids not every kid though this is Elijah Williams. <laughs> Are you done with your like? I'm done with my monologue. Okay, okay go ahead. all right, bet. So first off, first and foremost, I'm gonna take some Daddy Juice. Yeah, because that's a thing. I don't drink. I'm gonna get my Red Bull. Now, I hate that you created this persona, and there's actually motherfuckers out there like, oh, Steve Ovo doesn't drink. No, it, <laughs> I don't. 
drinking, since 2019, I ain't drank. Drinking has created the monster that you see today. And so many people will never hear the story about how you fucked the Christmas tree. So many <laughs> people will never hear. This is a charity drink. event. The last thing we're going to do is tell Michael Street stories. <laughs> but I should have never brought you. This is a terrible idea. But he can't go to Virginia. I can, I can already, I can already see the comments about my brother being black. I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna be answering shit about that all week. Oh, I see the nose. You gotta look at the nose. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Steve, pin the link to the event. You're absolutely right. This is why I love y'all. Y'all keep me on point. Let's do this. Let's pin this. Copy, boom, paste. This is the link for the charity event. This will be posted on the bottom of the screen. That's super dope. We're lit. I said we get started on the album. Again. First, oh, first, okay, Dude, talk your shit. Um, I see in the in the chat because we can see the chat live. If somebody didn't know that we can. Um, am I is depressed, and that's right up your alley. But you I also don't dark know. room music, baby. <laughs> you know what it is. I don't know anything about this artist, and you know a little bit. I know a lot of it. A lot of it. I know a lot of it. Run down real quick before we go into it. Just quick elevator speech. Thirty seconds. M.I. Abaga has been keeping hip hop alive in Niger at the level that he has done it as for a very, very long time. He founded a label called Chalk City, um, Chocolate City, who uh, they, they right now, current time even, they have probably some of the, the top MCs in all of Nigeria. Oh, shit. Um, his, his music is that, that I've reacted to. He, he separates his music into underground um, mixtapes that he put out called Illegal Music, mm -hmm. which is like him rapping on other people's beats and stuff like that. That's more like for the underground cats and stuff like that. This ranged from like ones that I hated on like Illegal Music 1 when he was like first starting out and he had to dumb it down because they didn't really have the hip hop scene out there. Okay, okay. And then like all the way to like Illegal Music 3 where we was like 100 out of 100 on tracks. You know what I'm saying? Like like that good. Like okay. like, I, like I didn't have a critique to say about it. You okay. know what I'm saying? Um, and he, he really is on that. I, I, look, I, I'm, I'm the first person to give flowers where they are due. And the, the easiest way that I can explain MI is MI is exactly who he thinks he is. That's that. You know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to like the top tier bars that he puts out, when it comes to the message, when it comes to helping out the culture, when it comes to battle, like there's so much shit that he has done that I've witnessed that like my entire foot into the Nigerian hip hop scene came because he beefed with somebody else. Hmm. That was like my introduction to it. And I was like, all right, that was cool. As we continue to do it from that point, I just fell in love with both the music uh, plus the the positivity that he puts out between the contest and, and everything. Like, bro, he just, I've never seen him put something out that I wasn't impressed with. Elevator speech is 30 seconds. You're right. I'm done. Uh, <laughs> but we're going to get into this right now. This might be trash. I don't know. I ain't listened to it yet. Like, Look, so oh, they're telling you too. Look at this. $1 million is like $1.5 to $2,000. Yeah, right? you got fact checkers. That's how you know you got a good community. Yo, Gia's gang is fired, though. Motherfuckers is on your ass. First Nigerian rapper to be nominated for a BET award. First in Africa, actually. And and off of that, I'm like, oh, so he's on Stogie's level. Um, Or do we not talk about him on screen? What? No. Stokes, I, I don't know your stream. Stokes is my, my brother. That's I know. Um, No, I would say... If, if you're talking about like peaks in Niger and peaks in South Africa, I do not think it would be unusual to compare it to. Okay. Uh, I don't think you might want to close that so the AC stays like in here. I have no idea stays. what to do in, in your um, space. But yeah, that, that's that's a I, I don't I don't think that would be an unfair comparison. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially in, in the listeners' eyes. So let's go. We're gonna get started now. Um, so I'm taking these directly off of Mi's YouTube. So I'm assuming these are in order. If not, blame him. Don't come for me. But let's get started. First one up is, do you know who you are? Take and meditate on you. This does sound like some deep shit. You got instructions and shit on this video? God damn. Do you know who you are? What is your name? Sometimes you wonder why and wonder how. Don't be alone. Just stay calm. Cause even if you choose or not to find through all the pollution with no dirty shoes, finding the truth is not hard to figure out your life. Take your time and I'll <laughs> Okay, bro. Like, I'm telling you, I don't know what you expect coming to this, <laughs> but it's not going to be what you expect. 
I, I took two years to dig into these people to find out who the hottest are. Like, I, I would not put you, I would not tell you to come slide through after two years of digging into people if it wasn't going to be fired up. I mean, honestly, if you told me you were going to dig into trash artists, I'd still be here. <laughs> That's fair. Like if you that's look, like, that's <laughs> love, baby. We ride. If you're right, like, focus. yo, this is trash. Just come through and keep me company. I'd still be here. But he knows how to make a fucking intro. I'll give him that. Like I haven't heard the beat. I haven't heard anything else. But he's melodic. He knows how to hold a tune. I don't think. I don't know that that's him yet. Uh, but that might be someone on the track. Well, somebody on the track <laughs> knows how to hold a fucking tune. I mean, he does sing though. He catches melodies too. And he knows how to make a fucking nice. song. Let's go. Hey, my child recite the words of this ancient mythology the wisdom i disperse in this verse no apology memorize to keep you from evil theology you, the Dr. Huya, denied your equality. See, for generations we perpetrated psychology. Divide and conquer each other, really lynch policy. You cannot build each other up. How will you build economy? How you think is how you buy It's just basic neurology. So please recite the words of this ancient mythology. The wisdom I express in this verse, no apology. Do you realize the Negroes are hunting commodity? Look around you, nigga, observe your ecology. See, they're going to. <laughs> I told you, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. What was that? What was that 12? That was 12 bars? Holy shit. I told you, dog. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's speaking to my blackness. <laughs> oh, my God. And he's African. I don't know if that constitutes completely black. Like, he could be black, but he could be African. Oh. <laughs> oh. The African American is a commodity. Ooh. I'm oh glad that you're gonna get to do all the reaction stuff that I can't Ooh. do. <laughs> they, they get... Let's go, let's go. We bring it back. We pulling it back. We pulling yes, it back. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Recite That's the words of this watch. ancient mythology. The wisdom I disperse in this verse, no apology. Memorize to keep you from evil theology. You, the doctor, you, you denied your equality. See, for generations we perpetrated psychology. Divide and conquer each other, really lynch policy. You cannot build each other up. How will you build economy? How you think is how you buy It's just basic neurology. So please recite the words of special mythology. The wisdom I express in this verse, no apology. Do you realize the Negroes are hunting commodity? Look around you, nigga, observe your ecology. See, they're gonna try to tell you it's in your biology. They're gonna tell you niggas ain't good with technology. That's why we have to rewrite our anthropology until they acknowledge me when you're following the internalist tree. And then the smooth ass transition, dog. Oh, yo, the transition back into the hook. The transition back into the hook. My brother is a DJ, by the way. I feel like I should have said that. I should have I should have clarified that in the beginning. The reason that this is dope is because he's a DJ. And my job now is to take the music that I have discovered on the channel and feed it to him to figure out what he can and what he can't. Yeah, you know I mean, so like, is we we going, we going, we going. Take your time no, and meditate on you. Do you know who you are? What is your name? What is your name? Yeah, tell me the value of a freeborn newbie. And all his habitations death will keep pursuing it. Black is beautiful, it's the true is it? Or is it? Generations raised it to ruin it. We visit. Ships across the seas will be conquered. The options. Labor in the minds will be shackled. For auction. Whatever path you take, your existence is function. Centuries later, things will still be the same. Be caution. Yeah. Black man meditate on your pain. Hesitate in the rain. Let it wash the curse. Then immerse in the hurts. Let your worth be rebirth. Have a thirst for the truth. Find protection for youth. Niggas open your wings. Let your woman be king. Let your children be dreams. Even you find them the means. Give them reasons to smile. Make you last for a while. As I you got two major issues an identity crisis and psychological homelessness. We hate our Africanity. Even within the black consciousness community, we are still anti-African because deep down within our subconscious, we were all conditioned by the same superstructure that made us feel that Africa wasn't anything. Hold that. 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 Hold
Okay. Motherfuckers. Umar. That is a quote, and that is audio, direct audio from Dr. Umar. If y'all don't know, Dr. Umar is a pan-African educator who is pushing for black excellence. I'll put it that way. Um, uh, unfortunately, he's also a scammer. <laughs> We're not getting into all that. Let's, let's go. All I know is I know you don't watch my channel. <laughs> the issue is that sometimes, a lot of times, Dr. Umar uses like actual concepts that are disturbing the black community to push his platform. And his platform is false, but his narrative is true. And that's fucked up. Like just now. What was it? Last week, he got his whole GoFundMe and his whole like education push and his company, all that. He got it. He got it shut down. The 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 state of Pennsylvania ordered a cease and desist on Dr. Umar for um, uh, collecting donations. Cease and desist. He's not allowed to collect money because he's not an actual doctor, and a lot of the stuff he says is false. Let's 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 keep it. Let's keep it to the album right now. Let's keep it to the album. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I appreciate, I appreciate the insight. Really, no, dead ass. I just don't want to get off on too much of a tangent. He and with negativity. I want to keep it. It makes me uncomfortable whenever I hear Dr. Umar shit that's accurate. That's what I'm getting to. I got you. And that shit that he just played, that clip, so poignant, so powerful. Oh my fucking god. It makes me uncomfortable, but that's what you're supposed to do when you have conscious shit. When you're speaking that shit, you're supposed to make somebody feel uncomfortable. That's facts. Fuck yes. Let's go. Fuck, yes. Our problem is totally mental. We're a trillion dollar company. We got all the degrees we need, all the expertise. But you know what we're lacking? That cultural commitment to ourselves. Until we hate racism more than we hate each other, nothing's going to change. That's not unlike me saying I'm a bad person doing a good thing. Bad people will still have dope speeches. It was the learning process from your right. The world does hate you. Yes. The world discriminates. The world's full of prejudice and bigotry and racism and hatred. It's real. I completely agree with you. And that's the sort of explicit world against you. There's a more insidious world against you, which I think is to do with the socialization process. The expectation of men to be the strong one is a hell of an expectation. It's actually terrible because what do you do with all the real human? Admittedly, this would be better in headphones because of how low it is, but like I can still get the gist of it. Vulnerability. And then you, it goes back to what we started off talking about. You have to become the superhero, the big muscle man. And you aren't, you're just a person. Some of you are strong and some of you are weak. This hurt a little bit. <laughs> it does. It does. And a full person has all the vulnerability in the world. Okay. We need men's liberation. To liberate men from the shackles of having to be a warrior and a perfect and a soldier and a killer and a big strong muscle man. To just be a person. Damn. Hold on, hold on. You want to try again? You want to try again? How are we feeling? <sighs> I love that track. Okay. I absolutely love that track. It was melodic enough to play. In a mix mm -hmm. for people that's vibing, it also had a message that's very powerful, very poignant. I do not like that he pulled um, the narrative of men have to be strong into the back end of it because it was more about the black community and not so about men. Men and the black community, while they can be connected, are totally different and need totally different spaces for different reasons. I do not like that the the issues of men men have to be this men have to be that that whole conversation had to be pulled into the black conversation because women are also a privy to black conversation and they should be given a special space as well like it what is the mind all right well, this is great so this is a the the conversation at the end i believe is is real yeah like that like well listen to what i'm saying so like the reason that I think that it's also talking about men is because Emma is a man. Mm -hmm. So it's a combination of not only do you have like 
black issues that you're attacking with, but also male issues. Like if I'm a, if I'm a therapist, we're not going to only address one and not the other. You know, does that make sense? No, that makes perfect sense. And like from his perspective, like from, from where he's coming from, it totally makes sense. Like I'm not knocking it or anything of the sort, but most of the song was about black. Yes. And then at the end quarter, it was about black man. That could also be transitioning into the next track though. It could absolutely be. And it just, the conversation is so different between being a man and being a black and then being a black man. I'll take your word. <laughs> it's, this isn't a conversation I can contribute a lot to, Lies. Which is why I'm telling you I don't like that. Like, it's not that it's not poignant. It's not that it's not needed. It's not any of the sort. Like, I like hearing the affirmations as a man. And I love hearing the the talk about the black I, I like both of these. I would just want for the track, personally, personally, I would want for the track to be one or the other because they need to be separated. Okay. Because black women are also black. I'm aware. <laughs> no, I'm saying I feel you. I understand what you're saying. I'm I'm there with you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're not going to go, go. We're not a little too far. Keep Look, going. I love the track. It's definitely a 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Let's go. Let's Beautiful. go. Let's go. <laughs> I just, I just don't feel beautiful. And that might sound shallow to you, but to me, it's something I deal with every day. I struggle with every day, believing in myself, believing in my own beauty. When I come back home and I take my clothes off and I look in the mirror, I don't know if I'm beautiful. I just struggle with this imperfect exterior. Nobody told me that my thick thighs were beautiful. Or my dark skin. Let me tell you something weird. Last night I had a dream about a hummingbird. City pretty full of fitty singing all the sweetest songs that you ever heard. I said, hummingbird, you've got potential essential to venture adventures and conquer the world if you care. But you're still doing over here. How we heard the door to your cage has been broken for ages and open. Just take it, you're moping and hoping on hope that you make it. Just float to the opening and go. go. How we heard, ignore all these mocking birds talking and gossiping about you all day. Haven't done nothing with their own lives anyway. <laughs> And he let the beat ride. He let like, you all hear this shit. I spent money on this. Stepping down are very profound. It is stepping down, making way for the next and relinquish control. And you know, do I stop while I'm up? Do I know when to go? I think this whole album is just conversations with the therapist. I mean, I think I think that's a that's probably exactly what it is. It's definitely a concept album, uh, and it's definitely a mental health album. I knew that come. I knew coming into it that it was a mental health album mm-hmm. because of the requests and stuff like that. Um, and that that's a, that's a perfect example of a track that works within the album. Like you wouldn't necessarily pull that out and put that on a playlist, but like I feel like in the context of an album, that's kind of like an interlude or like a, almost like their version of like a skit where you had like the spoken word, let the beat drop and ride out back into the therapist speech. I think it has a place in the album. It depends on the playlist. Like honestly, if you're having a playlist that specifically identifies you and your, your cons uh your like 
chaos when you're in a chaos zone for whatever reason and you need to come back, like that's a song to play because that song literally slows you down. That's fair. So this this next John, I've already heard. I didn't know this was off this album. You rappers should fix your lives up. There is a lot of history behind this track. Right. So I'm gonna do like the short version. We've already reacted to this. It's 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 really dope. Like his idea, his, the basic concept of this is in Nigeria. Mi felt as though like yo, y'all are too reliant on me to do everything. You're too reliant on me to to constantly push the culture. You're too reliant on me to to give you the next hit. You're too reliant on me to give you the next cosign to find the next talent. You rappers need to fix your lives up. And then he specifically points out how, in his opinion, South African rappers at that point were a notch ahead of them. And it's going to continue to be that way until you step up to the game and do the thing. Mm. So this is like, this is his, um, yo, I can't retire until y'all figure it the fuck out type track. This is like, this is less of like a track and more of like a PSA. This is more of like, yo, this this is my statement to the culture type thing. You okay. feel me? Let's get it. You need to lie to the rest of your life. Why have you been drinking, bro? You need to lie to it, bro. Because right now, yeah, you are losing right now. You are taking L's. I should be close to retirement. Yeah. Couple more years we retiring, yeah. but none of you rappers inspiring. None of you pass the requirement. I can retire you then. Who gonna fix the environment? Y'all got me coming back, switch on the siren. Still on my J-O-B, none of these rappers can fire me. I can retire you then. You rappers should fix up your life. You rappers should fix up your life. Y'all getting killed by the South. I guess I'm in this for life. I'm still the one that you lose to. You need me to figure shit out. You rappers should fix up your life. Fix up your life. Damn. I should point out that this also sparked a lot of responses in the culture. You got a lot of responses off of this. So it worked. <laughs> now you rappers is real enough. Once you blow up, now you're switching up. That's why these fans are not feeling y'all. SA rappers out here killing y'all. Bruh, when I was out here performing, I held the country down. I held the city down real. You rappers are underperforming. Our servants are shame is a pity, not real. Rappers are singing now just to get popular. Yeah. I just been watching like I'm at the opera. I should have brought my binoculars. Cause I don't see nobody dope. I don't see nobody great. I don't see nobody serious by taking my place. Y'all should be slapped in your face. This is your big homie telling you niggas to wake, wake, wake up, fix up your life. You rappers should fix up your life. Cause y'all getting killed by the South. I guess I'm in this shit for life. I'm still the one that you look to. You need me to figure shit out. You rappers should fix up your life. Fix up your life. Ten years later, Ren, I'm still the one. Training you rappers like Paddington. My flow is still cold, grab a cardigan. Lyrics to trash like the Vatican. Dog, I'm here panicking. All I created is vanishing. Nobody moving, man. Y'all are like mannequins. All right, let's bring a mechanic in. Maybe you rappers can rap again. Are you rappers or more? We don't know where men are pausing your tracks because no more flow again. How come we don't hear any bars? Almost treat the Yazi rap. I know they flow again, but I switch up my flow again. Anytime I think I'm done, they like go again And so I do it, make go again But all of you niggas are broke again I'm doing this for the culture You need somebody to coach you Y'all need the truth Clock can't, clock can't We need Superman So I had to get in the booth We out here getting massacred This is your general calling to check with the troops I made this shit easy for y'all I laid it off the board You messing up by alley you Ooh. Fix up your life I'm pretty sure I roasted him on the menstrual cycle bar and the uh, the Superman job the first time around. Fair. I've I've come I've come to appreciate and understand certain bars that Mi puts in to the. First of all, this is big. Like th this is this this was like the this was the love tap to the culture just to get the responses out. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I've I've come to realize through reacting to Mi from literally like. Illegal Music One, all the way up to, to current date shit that he puts out, where a lot of times in the Nigerian culture they have the the, the dumbed down bars type shit mm -hmm. is what pops over there. So they'll put like some corny lines that we would consider that we don't really fuck with at this point um, in there for the average listener. You feel me? And then he'll have other shit where he'll put out a track and everything's god tier. That he, you know what I mean? All like the bars are way different. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure we'll see that too. So he specifically. 
congrats for the audience he wants. Yeah, like this one, I'd like <laughs> my my understanding is like if I'm talking to these artists, right, and I think I'm that much a notch above them, I have to dumb down to talk to you because you're not gonna understand me. It's almost like he's being condescending. Yeah, it's almost like I have to hold back and hold baby's hand so you can understand that I'm dissing you. Because if I came and did my thing, you wouldn't even be able to understand that that's what's happening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the, the whole swag. Like, my opinion on this track now versus my opinion on this track when I first heard it is way different when you understand the context and what was going on at the time and the history and shit like that. So this, this is one of those tracks that everyone told me. Like, it, it was a moment. This was a moment. You know what I mean? I love that comment. I'm not going to go at it. But I, on an intrinsic level, I love that comment. In Europe, why do you have me to just how I'm behind? Yes, boy. Shake it, Wally. Shake it, but I'm Wally and what daddy, but not that good man. Who more push in but I'm a big one, why is it that? If I hear it, I will start from what was it? If it is this, if I don't see it, I am. But, oh no, can't see, but be yard. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, she's not my happy, but for it, yeah. And I'm a guy from. Now, he, he knows the music in and out. That's like his guy. Okay. So, like, that means that this, the rest of this track is probably the audio. Okay. So let's go. Another thing, do not be angry. Do not be starstruck, okay? Carry yourself and conduct yourself like a professional and a professional man. Yeah. Yes, uh, all these artists acting like groupies where the money is. But niggas to get ahead, they giving corny links. <laughs> money make these niggas do some funny things. <laughs> this music business is a funny business, city guy. But why am I expecting more? We half of ABC, we're PDP before. Uh, and Kanye said it, that's the way it is. Groupie fathers me, groupie mamas, and have groupie kids. For me, I'm Chocolate City to the death of me. I'd rather die keeping it real than living in for me. We eat together, put ego aside. Niggas be lying when they see you feed your pride. Putting me over them, that's how the crew divide. Never that. You can never stand mistakes in your squad with your legs. I rep that chocolate city, loopy. Money doesn't move me. I'll never be a crew. Another thing, do not be a groupie. Do not be starstruck, okay? Care yourself and conduct yourself like a professional and a professional man. You know, the time is coming, your time to come. All you hungry niggas that be begging to sign the song. And then you quickly move and join whoever just started shining. Please show me the difference from a shine with price for fucking. I've been shy in public, yada nothing, just smiling, bluffing. I mean, I represent the biggest label Africa ever created. Hated, debated, rated, we just keep climbing to Zion Summit. I know the media has been trying to find the comments. Here it is. Listen, 2008 M, 2009 Jags, 2010 Ice, 2011 Prime, 2012 Nusa, 2014 Vicky, 2015 Coca, 2016 Dice, my nigga game over. Sick is coming soon, everybody go see the evidence. Labo just became the first female label president. Lucy Ruby joining her soon, hating is irrelevant. Uh, I'm staring by my family because it made me Follow anybody, go where? Nigga, you crazy? Niggas should hustle for their fam, but niggas be lazy That's why niggas groupies for money, that shit amazing But me, my nigga Katie gave me great advice You wanna reach the top, then pay the price I'm staying with my family till the day I die Nigga, are you made of fire? Are you made of ice? I'm never with that fake shit. I'd rather do the day shift, the lake shift, the grave shift till we make it. Never see me on the list of fake niggas. Recognize I never be a makeshift nigga. Switch your sides. Another thing. Yeah. Do not be. Do not be starstruck. Yeah. Okay. Care like you said, okay, you like a professional. Yeah. Supposed to stay with family gets hard. Who nigga? <laughs> Very 
very, very, uh, let me let me state the facts of what's happening. This is addressing a lot of haters. So this is an interesting thing that happened. I was supposed, oh, I, I, had a, I had hit MI up and he had agreed to do an interview. This is probably like a year ago at this point, right? Um, and in order to prep for that, I, I decided to watch other interviews that he had done to just like get a, get a feel for him. And he, he gets on this one podcast and you, you can feel the tension right away. I didn't know what the situation was, but it's basically two hours of him and loose cannon snapping at these cats. Right. And one of the things that came up in that thing is he's pushing this cat named CK that they're talking about. I honestly, be honest, the guy, I haven't heard him yet. I don't think he does hip hop. I think he does um, Afro beats now. Uh, I've never had his stuff actually requested, but he was pushing this cat, um, CK, who I think was like a young boy at the time. I think he was like 18, right? And the guys on the podcast hit him with like, and he was talking about like, they were like, what are you even doing? Who are you pushing? And like, and names like CK. And the, the guy's response is like, who the fuck is CK? And like, M snaps on him, right? Like you see like the father come out of him, right? Like he, he shut that shit down. And I'm pretty sure, they'll correct me in the chat if I'm wrong, but if you look at this, this dude present date, He's doing like like incredible numbers. The do CK, the, the, the kid that they were talking about. I think he's like I, I don't know if he's still affiliated with MI, but I know that Love YTV is like on billboards. He's doing things. Yeah, he's he's doing wild shit, and he still credits M to it. You know what I mean? Like as much as like the 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 fucking peanut gallery and shit like that will talk their shit and stuff like that. Yeah. Like I've still seen the tweets and stuff like that where the love, the mutual love is showing, like always believe in me and, and shit like that. Gave me the leg up. Like it, it's dope, man. So I feel like this this track was definitely like, yo, there's a lot, there's a lot of chit chat when it comes to uh he just performed at Coachella. Yeah, that's fucking that's huge. That's huge. So I think this was just addressing a lot of the peanut gallery. Yeah. Like you should, I can't do this. No, it was this. This year it was this. This year it was this. You know what I'm saying? Like this is like it's like fact check me type shit. What's going on, guys? I was talking to one of my friends about loyalty, and we were just trying to figure out, you know, what what happened to loyalty nowadays. I don't. It seems like the older we get, the more it shows in people that people are not loyal. I, I don't know, guys, what happened, but it doesn't take much to be loyal. Loyalty is not hard. It's not hard. What do you guys think happened to loyalty? Do you guys think it was the internet, social media? What do you think happened? Because I, I know when I was younger, the problems I have now, I didn't have those problems back then. But I wanted to get your opinion on what do you guys think happened to loyalty? Leave your comments, guys. Have a blessed day. Comments? Loyalty is expensive, and motherfuckers don't know how expensive it is until they gotta pay. I.e., the two thousand one intrepid. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to pull out all the stories? Like that, here's my thing. I I disagree with this, man. I mean, and, and here's and here's why I disagree with it, though. My fucking we, my click Waco Street. Yeah. Like, I think loyalty loyalty is only rare nowadays if you don't filter who you've been with. Like we've been we've been with the same cats for decades, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. and I've I've never seen a lack of loyalty in my circle personally. I also don't have the biggest circle, you know what I'm saying? Like like our family is our family, twelve of us and shit like that. Like, Six. yeah, it's not even a lot of us. Well, man, we got some extenders and shit. But extenders like, who still been loyal since day one. Mm. We well, never had no betrayal. Mm. I think it depends on what your click is, man. How who, who it is that you keep around you, why you keep them around you, especially when if you're talking about like and like in the music business and stuff like that. Yeah, people in the music business are definitely gonna be way shadier than the cats who come up with their fucking day ones and put them on and shit like that. And this is it's it's incredibly subjective to the situation that you're in. I feel like very subjective. That's the key part. Yeah, keep yeah yeah talk that shit. That's what it is. Keep, <laughs> keep, keep the circle small with sensible people. Let's keep it going. Stop, never second guess yourself. Are we on the positive shit now? I mean, that could be positive. That could be toxic as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> All the girls called you average. All the girls called you average. You can never be no bad bitch. You can never be no bad bitch. All the girls called you average. All the girls called you average. They say you can never be no bad bitch. You can never be no bad bitch. I look at you, hair dash work, body rocking work. You look fly work. Mary Poppins work. All the boys looking at you, you the target work. All the girls talking about you, you the topic. Hair dash work, body rocking work. You look fly work. 
Very poppin'. All the boys looking at you, you the target. All the girls talking about you, you the topic. Don't stop. Never second guess yourself. Yeah. Turn around and bless yourself. Yeah. Girl, you looking good. And the mother, did you dress yourself? Yeah. Girl, you fucking awesome if you make yourself. Take yourself to dinner, then caress yourself. Your own precipitation, you can wait yourself. Sexy mother world, have you met yourself? You just so amazing when you let yourself. No one can never make you reject yourself. Only you, but you shouldn't stress yourself. It's really important you protect yourself. Sometimes you over dissect yourself. Stop. Think about it. Who the baddest bitch you've been about it? Mm, take another guess. Stop. Never second guess yourself. And now all the mother girls look tragic. All the mother girls look tragic. Remember when they called you average? Said that you would never be no bad bitch. And it funny? Look at you, honey. You're making money. You made it money. All the mother girls look tragic. Checking the mirror like yo, is this really me? Looking this good, it should be your Bro, I know it's funny now listening to this as a grown man and shit like that. But yo, if I'm fucking 16 year old shit, <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. Like, you, one of the things we talk about on the on the channel, you gonna get me fucking canceled. This shit. I, tell. I see the look on your face. One of the things we talk about on the channel a lot is target audience, right? Mm -hmm. You can tell when something is for you versus when it's not for you, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm a 16 year old female in high school dealing with the mean girl clicks and shit like that i can definitely see myself putting on some fucking headphones to some shit like this mm -hmm. i'm not listening to this as a grown man you're right because it's not for me i know i know i'm a bad bitch i don't i don't never second guess myself <laughs> the reason why i laughed is because this is not the climate in america there is not a time where any black woman feels lesser than or hears media where they're lesser than. I don't think you should speak for black women. You're right. We're going to keep going. Okay. <laughs> save I'm going to save you the comment section on that one, my guy. Well, the comment go. section is all guys, so. Now. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Honey dripping off that sexy <laughs> melanin. You're out there always trying to steal your energy. Love yourself, baby. That's the remedy. Self over haters, that's the recipe. Self over haters, that's the recipe. Somewhere in your life you've experienced abandonment. That's what's being triggered here. It's if it's turmoil, it's not just about now, it's about the then. Mm. So and you may not even remember it, but somewhere you've been left alone in the moment which has left you feeling very vulnerable. That was heavy. Two things for everybody, including you. Let's let's both two things, right? Number one for the audience, what you guys need to understand is I have been conditioned myself to be in front of this camera, how to talk about certain things. I've had my back and forths with the culture and the things that we clash on, the people that we clash on and stuff like that. Elijah has not had that. No. My, my brother is here out of the kindness of his heart because he wants to listen to hip hop he hasn't had, and I need y'all to cut him some slack with that. What you need to realize is they have been waiting for my opinion on this album for a very long time. So we're gonna cut back on the social commentary for this portion, okay. and like let let me like dig into the lyrics and dig into the, the the shit and stuff like that for this because this has been like the number one thing that has been requested for a while, and I don't want to, I don't want the, the comedic sidetrack to to take away from it. You feel me? Okay. So that that's what I think this is a little understanding from both sides, and we can just keep moving. With it. Cool. With that, I think uh, this is Oye. He made an 
impressive point, and I don't think that person meant to make it, but he made it. It's for like the African culture, and I'm of the American culture. And I was talking about like from an American standpoint. Like I see women in America, so I don't know what the women in you. Africa are dealing with, going through that type of situation. And I need to be cognizant of that. I need to be more aware that he's not speaking to Philly chicks. Right. I think I think I think we get we'll get through this with just some understanding of each other. We're good. Absolutely. I right. wasn't being like malicious. It doesn't matter. You will get interpreted wrong and dragged. <laughs> Bro, this is my life. You will get interpreted wrong and dragged regardless of what your intentions are, my Those guy. Are facts. It's already happened. Let's go. Palpitations and calculations. That's what I'm going through, just trying to muster up these allegations. This is not an infatuation. Any accusation? Let me show you proof and beat the allegations. You never ask for no validation. But I always say your ex, he never saw your proper valuation. And for that lack of imagination, he's gonna have to watch your ball until you get that ring and say congratulations. Letting you into places only homies allowed. I've been lonely alone, I've been lonely in crowds. And we nah, let's go. I'm letting you into places only homies allowed. When's the last time you did that with a bro? I mean, that's only. She might be in here. Ah, 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 she might be in here. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she was in here. <laughs> Except for Anira. Except for Anira. <laughs> Every, I'm, not, I'm not gonna let you do that to yourself. I'm not gonna let you do that to yourself. Man, that bar was fire. Oh, that bar was fire. And he's gonna have to watch your ball until you get that ring and say congratulations. Letting you into places only homies allowed. I've been lonely alone, I've been lonely in crowds. And real love is proven. Bah, let's go. Watch your ball until you get that ring and say congratulations. Letting you into places only homies allowed. I've been lonely alone, I've been lonely in crowds. And real love is proven, it's hardly announced. So let's not only talk, let's do He said, and real love is proven, it's hardly announced. Our vows, yeah. Both of us been hurt, so we should know better. I got a lot riding on you, but no pressure. I sat here thinking about us, girl, my whole session. I'm learning every day, but hoping this is no lesson. In the middle of the night. Nah, bring that back. Outburst aside, that was actually a fucking super, super crazy verse. The allegations, you never ask for no validation. From this point forward, inspired. But I always say your ex, he never saw your proper valuation. And for that lack of imagination, he's gonna have to watch your ball until you get that ring and say congratulations. Letting you into places only homies allowed. I've been lonely alone, I've been lonely in crowds. And real love is proven, it's hardly announced. So let's not only talk, let's do our vows, yeah. Both of us been hurt, so we should know better. I got a lot riding on you, but no pressure. I sat here thinking about us, girl, my whole session. I'm learning every day, but hoping this is no lesson. In the middle of the night, you are the girl, you said, I'm learning every day, but I'm hoping this is no lesson. Like I hope I hope that this is not just you breaking my heart so that I can learn from this. Oh, I'm like, that up. Jesus oh, Christ, let's go. Start the night by night. One that I see, I know. You use her past experiences in order to pick up yourself. I love that. It's a dirty man. I'll do that every day. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Let me find out your ex was trash. You're hearing about that every day. Go do the dishes. Sean didn't do the dishes. You're ruining the vibe of this whole thing. I want you to know that. They're gonna they're gonna hate you for this. That's fine. You ain't fighting. They're gonna hate you. I brought you over for the fucking conversation. What was I thinking? <laughs> You're the only one I noticed. Taking all my focus, you're like melodies. My heart skips a beat. And my intention isn't to flatter. Uh, but I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, Cause I ain't seen nobody better. Uh, 
when the asses get to start up. Man, I wonder what's inside your gene pool. Everything you do, it seems cool. Uh, little things like putting on your jeans, boo. Damn, just the type of girl I've been to. Yeah, my niggas say I'm too cautious. Uh, I guess that comes from taking plenty losses. Uh. So, you know what's most beautiful about this dude is you need to understand? So, I don't know MI's personal life, obviously. But I do know that he has made publicly that he is now in a relationship. And he appears to be very, very happy with it. So, like hearing the stuff that he's going through with his therapist and like the topics and shit like that, that he's addressing, knowing that there's light at the end of the tunnel too, kind of gives like a, like a whole different perspective on this. Like, I don't think that I would pull that portion of it out. Had I reacted to this prior to him making that public, hmm. you know what I'm saying? Cause like prior to that, it's like, all right, cool. My guy's still in a dark place. As far as we know, as, as the audience who's not in his life, you know what I'm saying? So like, I, I think that, going to this album after a happy life announcement specifically in relationships when a lot of this seems to be centered around relationships and shit like that i think it adds a pretty unique perspective so so knowing the end of the story while he's portraying it yeah like, it, it, the journey is different right because like when you're watching a suspense or you're you know what i'm saying it's like oh my god how is it going to end and now it's like hey i don't got to panic about how this ends i know my guy's going to be straight so now i can go in and analyze the journey without having to worry about my character. You feel me? Exactly. You don't got to worry about an empty pill bottle. I feel you. So many girls are plenty gorgeous and they know I put my country on like Kenny Rogers. Yeah, but even if they proposition, I have no reason now to listen. Not when I've already made decisions. Not when I've already met the woman I was wishing for. Score. In the middle of the night. And they're putting the four score in there too. And they're putting the four score in there too. Madden, the Kenny Rogers live is nasty. They just put in there like that. <laughs> Let's go. I know that they are not here for me. You're the only one I noticed. Taking all my focus, you're like melodies. My heart skips a beat. Chat, not a Tinder sec. No cock blocking in the <laughs> live. Nah, nah, we're not doing that. This can be a Tinder comment section. We don't, nah. He's none toxic. Of, none of that. Let him get in. You know I, mean? I will say this. So one of the other things that we talk about on this channel um, is setting, right? So we, we, we already, you and I already kind of talked about like target audience on songs, right? One of the other things we talk about is setting. I will say this is a headphones, dark music room album so far. Yeah. This is not the album that you listen to with your brother while he's cracking jokes, so on and so forth. You know what I mean? I, I will I will own up to having not necessarily facilitated the proper environment going into this. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's something to yeah, I mean it's, it's something to address. So like when we did the score, if we were doing the scorecard normally, I would be able to address that on the scorecard. We don't have the scorecard right now. We're not doing it. So I just feel the need to like talk about that. So you know what I mean? Like okay. this would like these beats, the type of beats that they're that are on this shit. If we cut that light out. When you were sad and you had your headset on, it's going to hit way different than than us making jokes in between bars and stuff like that. Of so, course. like, is is I'm, I'm gonna take I, I'll take all the comments on the chin. That's fine. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's keep it going. Oh, we we only got we only got a couple left. A handful. What's been your favorite so far? Scroll up. The intro? Same. The intro was fucking amazing. Rappers should fix their lives. I don't think rappers should fix their lives. That holds, like, historically it does, but I think if you're talking about actual, like, scorecard rankings, I don't think it would hold a candle to the intro. Like, I, the rappers should fix their lives. I might have got, like, an 80-something, I think, on the reaction channel. And I was definitely, it was definitely when I was way more critical about MI than I am now. Like, it was before I was a fan, I'm pretty sure. The fact that, uh, Rappers and Fixer Lives, like, hold the place in my heart is because you pointed out the fact that it works on several different levels. Facts. Like, he made that effort to make sure yeah. you dumb niggas is going to understand you're fucking up, but you smart niggas are going to understand you're fucking up, too. Like, that 
it, it it's fire. Yeah, it, it's fire. Yeah, like it's fire. But that intro, bro, the intro was just the intro was le- the intro legit would have got a hundred out of hundred. Like like on a scorecard with me being critical and everything like that. The intro was fire. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if I got a dream, then it's gonna happen. Ain't nobody blocking it, nobody stopping her. I remember back when them I started rapping. Uh-huh. These niggas brought the popcorn, I said they could watch you flopping. Anytime I try to pitch you, we're better pick it for me. Hold up, bring us back. Hold up. I was making jokes in the yeah, I was making jokes in the comment section. We need to refocus on this. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> My guy was hitting lines in there. I was like, whoa, hold up, we gotta <laughs> split attention. Yo, if I got a dream, then it's gonna happen. Ain't nobody blocking it, nobody stopping her. Hold up! That's how you start a fucking bar, my guy. That's how you start a fucking bar. Nah. That dog. Nah. If I have a dream, then it's gonna happen. That's a bold ass opening statement. That's how you open a fucking track, my guy. Nah, nah. We not we not gliding over that one. Hold up. Go, 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 go. Yo, if I got a dream, then it's gonna happen. Ain't nobody blocking it, nobody stopping her. I remember back when them I started rapping. Uh-huh. These niggas brought the popcorn, I said they could watch you flopping. Anytime I try to pitch you, better pick it for me and my niggas. These haters, they be steady cropping. Y'all niggas is gifted with that. Ah, let's go! Oh, nah. Alright, this is gonna be one of them ones. This is gonna be one of them ones. We back in, we back in. It's gonna happen. Ain't nobody blocking it, nobody stopping her. I remember back when them I started rapping. Uh-huh. These niggas brought the popcorn, I said they could watch you flopping. Anytime I try to pitch you, we better pick it for me and my niggas. These haters, they be steady cropping. Uh-huh. Y'all niggas is gifted with that photoshopping. I don't know nothing about that, I be really shopping. Coin. Nigga, ain't no time to dilly dally. I really rally any city valley that I'm chilling and I'm killing them. If I'm in Cali, then I'm killing Cali. Till typically, even Cali critics will be feeling them. I critic Cali. Yeah. Part of me, I thought that she was funny. Me, I'm all about to get that money. Get that money, get it, honey. Get it, shoot yourself like you were paper money. You're like, I got is also focus. They can never take it from me, nigga. They look up to me. I know they look up to me. Oh, they look up to me. I know they look up to me. Oh, gotta stay positive. Who is this? Nah, nah, I love M. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> he is eating this right now. Bring this back. Oh, do see the engine. And Lady Dunn. Yeah, nah, my guy got the engine fucking rev. This shit is <laughs> fucking fire. Hold up. I know they look up to me. Oh, they look up to me. I know they look up to me. Oh, gotta stay positive. Yeah. What do you want from me? They look up to me. I know they look up to me. Oh, they look up to me. I know they look up to me. Oh, gotta stay that was fire that was fire don't be over here my nigga no negative I know so many niggas repetitive with that competitive shit, my nigga, let me live. Let me live. Niggas need some Gucci and some cannabis. Uh, people should really chill and don't be chillin'. Yeah. Spend their feelings about people willing to stop rebuilding. Uh, when you speak feelings, is a pocket feeling? Does it give you millions? If it doesn't, keep on spilling, nigga. Uh, keep that shit away from me, though. Keep a penny and steal yourself, Benito. Uh, trying to give you the keys, you people. Positive vibes only, my people. Yeah. Niggas ain't nah, trying to... Nah, these patterns are fucking wired. Let's go.
Be in some cannabis. People should really kill it. Don't be chilling. Spin their feelings about people winning to stop revealing. When you spill your feelings, is it pocket feeling? Does it give you millions if it doesn't keep on spilling, nigga? Uh, keep that shit away from me, though. Keep opinions to yourself, Benito. Uh, trying to give you the keys, you people. Positive vibes only, my people. Yeah. Niggas ain't trying to help you get on. No. Don't like the flow, skip to the next song. Yep. Trying to give you the keys, you people. Yeah. Positive vibes only, my people. Yeah. They look up to me. I know Ooh. they look up to me. find other dope tracks with this cat on the hook on it a dunsey the engine I, I need more from him on the channel this this dude's voice is incredible i i say 15 times the stream i have to say if i mispronounce something it's not malicious mm -hmm. i try but like i know i fuck shit up they give me a lot of passes <laughs> <laughs> they give me a lot of passes i appreciate them but then they correct me in the comments and going forward i try to fix it you know Absolutely. what i mean i'd be i do my best I don't know how to say this politely, so I'm just going to say it bluntly. The Gia's gang is incredible with a lot of insight. Jazz Gang is also wrong a lot. <laughs> people love when, when they start talking about like sneak this in and, and shit like that. A lot of people create their own narratives in their heads to, to push beefs and stuff like that. I don't know that this is or isn't a scenario like that, but that is a very realistic thing that you come with. As soon as like, especially I think it's more prominent in SA than it is in Nigeria. But like every time something something drops, they're like, oh, he was dissing fucking Reese, or oh, he was dissing Nasty C. And it's like, no, they weren't. That that's not what was happening. Well, that was just a bar. <laughs> but like you I, I run into that I run into that a lot. <laughs> This business of, you know, you're not as good as you were before, what happened, it's part of that process. You just cannot afford to take it personally. Mm. And if you believe your own myth, you will take it personally. Mm. And the people who are most likely to shoot you down are very often the protégés. Once mm. they've sat at the feet of the father, they need to shoot the father down or the mother. And that's what happens. It's not really personal. It's a way of empowering themselves. Just expect it. Get yourself ready. Um, there's something else that I feel like I should I should enlighten you about. So I follow M as a fan, and it's not just on the music tip. I also jump when I see him like in a space to talk. I'll jump into his space when I see him. You know what I mean? Like on a live or something like I'll jump in. Right. Yeah. 
M is very big on pushing agendas. And one of the big agendas that he's been pushing for like the last couple of years is on men's mental health. And one of the biggest things that I, that I think I'm picking up on this that you may not have picked up on is he spent a lot of time going from space to space to space. Number one, admitting that he went to therapy to try and break the stigma around it. So him including the audio clips on this album kind of works double fold in a few things. Number one, he's kind of like putting his money where his mouth is. It's not just like, hey, I'm telling you guys, if you need mental help to go seek therapy, I'm showing you that I also need this and I had to seek it. He's also, if you listen to him talk about mental health in the spaces, he also specifically feels for men in Nigeria because him in his own position, and this, you got, they can fact check me if I'm wrong on this, but I, I did spend a lot of time listening to him talk on it. He had to actually go outside of Nigeria to get a therapist because of, and I don't want to put words, you know, I, I don't want to use words that, that are too harsh or anything like that. But my understanding of it was he didn't want to find himself in a position to be blackmailed or, or, or in a position to have something held over his head by somebody with an agenda in this country. That's, that's what I took away from my ears after hearing him talk. And even, and, and I think the point that it was supposed to get across is even if you have to leave the country to do it, it's that important to do. Your mental health is not something to be fucked with. Your mental health is not something to be pushed aside. It doesn't matter how big you are, of a star you are, what kind of obstacles that you have. It's very easy for him to be like, yo, I can't go and do this because of X, Y, and Z, and that's why I didn't do it. This was more of a, yo, don't create excuses, and let me show you that I'm serious. Here are actual clips of conversations that we have. So, like, in the beginning, when you were critiquing, like, oh, I don't like that the end of the clip from the therapy session said X, Y, and Z, I think that one of the, the backlash that you'll get from that is that not understanding what was happening by him including it in the, those audio clips in this. Okay. Does that make sense? It makes perfect sense. And like I said, this is, this is probably like, I know your energy is amazing for the channel 99 times out of 100. And I think this was probably just the wrong opportunity to bring you on. You know what I'm saying? Without, without prepping you ahead of time. Like, yo, this is what we're about to be listening to. You know what I'm saying? But like, yo, if you guys, if you guys are, if you guys are checking this out and you guys are, are listening along with this and you didn't take up on that portion of it, like focus on that because that's, that's the point of the message. The message may not even be in what's being said in the therapy session. That might not apply to your life in any way, shape or form. What does apply to your life is that if you have problems, it is okay. It is cool. It is acceptable. It is not emasculating to go and get help. It is not emasculating to go and seek therapy. It is maybe. It's not emasculating to speak to a woman about your mental health. Like that's a very subtle thing right there to get picked up on. Like the fact that he's talking to a woman instead of a man. It's specifically, like you, you've seen the comments about how there's the the different mental state around men and women in Nigeria versus America and stuff like that. Absolutely. So like M is is strategically attacking a lot of stigmas on this. And I don't want our commentary to overlook a lot of that. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. Cool. And in fact, that helps not only me, but your people, because if it was just you, you probably wouldn't have went over that. Um, I mean, I'm pretty good at my job. I would like to think that I do that I do some kind of you know I mean justice to what I did. Is that if I hadn't been like, yo, separate black from man, when you speak on mental health, you probably wouldn't have been like, no, wait, give it a second. I got you. He's doing this thing, and it's not. It would have been. It would have been. Male. It would have been better if I explained it in the beginning. If I thought to do that, but yes. like, it also took me. Like, this is my first time listening to the album. Like, it's not like I had the the knowledge ahead of time. Like, we're experiencing this together in, in real time. So, like, if I can educate you along the way, that's not different than how they educate me along the way. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So it's all part of the journey. Aww. It's all part of the journey. I'm a great co-host. Just say that. I fucking love you. <laughs> <laughs> they don't think I'm a great host. But I'm a great coach. I don't know. By the end of it, they might come around. By the end of it, they might come around. I mean, the yeah. first video I did, I don't think they'll ever. Bro, when I first, yo, the first time I reacted negatively to an MI track, I got death threats. That's I'm dead serious. The first time I reacted negatively to a Mode 9 track, 
And the first time I reacted negatively to an MI track, I literally had people DM me on Instagram telling me never to come to Nigeria. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> They're just like, bro, it's not safe for you. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I was like, but like they were, and like I talked to them, I didn't delete the DMs or nothing like, like that norm. I was like, sir, what? <laughs> You sought to learn. I'll never forget this. M has M has one track, dog, where he's like, this is old M, so they're gonna trash it, right? But he like he kid this shit. So he's like, I go hard, boner. <laughs> and I fucking lost my shit, dog. I fucking roasted that track for like 15 minutes straight. And I thought we were all gonna have a laugh about it. And I thought we were all gonna come out of this holding hands and shit like that. They lit my ass up for a week, dog. <laughs> Not granted. The people who were already Gia's gang at the time laughed along with it. We knew that it was all love. But some people thought that I was really trying to, like, bring this man down. Like, I had an agenda to attack MI. Because I don't think that I had fallen in love with him at that point. I don't think that I heard the tracks that I really liked. That was one of my, like, originally uh, original reactions to it. You know what yeah. I mean? So, like, yo, the pitchforks come out. They were sharpening the jaws. They didn't just pull a pitchfork out. They had a little whetstone, and they was like, oh, really? Protective of their gem. I get it. I completely get it. Certain fan bases, though. <laughs> certain, certain fan bases, though. No, he is a gem. Like, he is no, he absolutely shit, and he's doing a lot with this album. So. And it's impossible in the short time that you're here for, for you to wrap your mind around how much of an impact certain artists have. And would be in a very, very small conversation of artists who had that big of an impact. Like, imagine if you were watching somebody sitting there and they were making fun of Biggie. How would you, you know, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how people are looking at you right now when you haven't paid the dues like I have to understand who or what it is that you're laughing or joking about. You feel me? It's huge to say Biggie, but I get it. But that's my point. That's yes. my point. You know what I'm saying? Like, you would feel a type of way if you were looking at two people from not America, first time listening to American hip hop, and they were like, suck your daddy's dick. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you know what I mean? Like, they, like that's, that, that's an equivalent of me roasting those lines. You feel me? Like... <sighs> Uh, let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I was so big <laughs> All right, now I need you to. Now that we had our little commentary, we're gonna, gonna, gonna bring it back. We're gonna bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Let's finish this out strong, man. I'm gonna play you some shit that I really like from him. So after this, so okay. I'll let you know like how I how I like became a fan because I'm a hard I'm a hard sell. But, like <laughs> they, there was a couple Johns after I listened to where I was like, mm, okay, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, you, yeah, I probably shouldn't go to Nigeria. You're right. They, I should get stabbed once or twice. Maybe not killed, but like poked. You know what I mean? Like just, just in the fucking shoulder. Like think about, think about it next time. All right, let's go. Also, the Steve Bobo thing is South Africa, not Nigeria. So like, you're probably gonna get lit up for that too. Really? Yeah. God damn! Why did you tell me that? I was just letting you rock. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I believe in you, you should smell that. Smell it. I believe in me. You should too. I believe in you. They don't like it when they see a nigga winning, so believe in you. Believe in you. Dopest rapper rapping, you can't tell me nothing. Whether they are flooding, lauding, or they clapping, whether they are caught in kappa dapping, if they front, I'll stomp without they backing. Yeah, 10 years I've been knocking, snapping, I've been styling, I am not a fashion. Every out and I've been bringing cash, and this is intellect and action, sweat and passion. Yes! I don't know if we should see, but if he ever... Bro, I'm telling you, he knows when it's like, if like if there's certain songs you listen to, and you, you would think that it's only a certain thing, but then when he come on, man. Believe in you. I am the dopest rapper rapping. You can't tell me nothing. Whether they are flooding, lauding, or they clapping. Whether they are caught in cap or dapping. If they front, I'll stomp without they backing. Yeah. Ten years I've been knocking, snapping. I've been styling. I am not a fashion. Every out and I've been bringing cash. And this is intellect and action, sweat and passion. I don't know if we should see, but if he ever heard about me, then he should be honored to be measured in the same breath as an African myth, a legend, living king of the mic. Now, shouldn't he? 
I know my place in history. I know you texting me for listing me as kin to B.I.G. Park. All right, first of all, I owe an apology to whoever said that there was a push of T-line in this. Obviously, that was not a subliminal. Uh, no, that was that was it. That was it. We're going to bring this back, and we're going we gonna, to... <laughs> we gonna push through. Action, sweat, and passion. I don't know Pusha T, but if he ever heard about me, then he should be honored to be measured in the same breath as an African myth, a legend, living king of the mic. Now, should he eat that? I know my place in history. I know you pissed at me for listing me as kin to B.I.G. Park and Jay Z. All praise onto them. I'm just into me as we all should be. If you don't agree, it don't halt and peace. No, or all to me. Fire in my heart. All cassette. Please, words to turn to gold. This is all for me. Fate and irony that it falls to me. Cause once my self esteem is low as low can be. <laughs> then I caught a glimpse of old. I mean, anytime that you slip Alchemist bars in there, I'm in. I'm in. This jump deserves pullbacks. This this drum deserves pullbacks. I like this pattern is crazy. This show deserves fucking international recognition. Motherfuckers should hear this and be offended. Holy shit. And Jay-Z, all praise onto them. I'm just into me, as we all should be. If you don't agree, it don't halt and peace. Slow or all to me. Fire in my heart, all cassettes. Please, words that turn to gold, this is all for me. Fate and irony, that it fall to me. Cause once my self-esteem was low as low could be. <laughs> then I caught a glimpse of older me. Young Denzel has come set the culture free. You should want to be all you're called to be. They don't want to see. Ask DJ Khalid, all they do is speak. Say I will not reach. Call you from the peak. Yes, I made it, bitch. So tell me what I need approval for. Shit about the changes that could have Who'd have thought those who were rooting for you would shoot at you trying to get you to cool it off? Cause they don't believe. Uh. I've never heard coup d'etat slip so perfectly into a fucking rhyme scheme. <laughs> like, you can't just slip coup d'etat into a fucking rhyme scheme like that, my guy. That was a little that was a little different. That was that was smooth. Oh. Yes, I made it, bitch. So tell me what I need approval for. Shit about the changes that could have thought. Who'd have thought those who were rooting for you would shoot at you trying to get you to cool it off? Because they don't believe. Uh, I believe in you. You should, too, believe in you. Yeah, believe in you. My friends told me that I would have a conversation with my dad. I told my dad, I said, well, how come you don't love me? And he says, what do you mean? I said, you used to carry me all the time. And now you carry me. And he carried yes. You were abandoned. You felt abandoned and betrayed and let down. Don't love me anymore. And that that can be a moment of terrible crisis for children. So there you are in your lovely little world. You're this shining star. You're the apple of your mother's eye. Possibly your father's dream. But you're 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 it. You're the one. And all of a sudden, your world is shattered. And that that can be a moment of terrible crisis for children. And it does stay with us on some level, unconsciously. And you're busy trying to reclaim the attention and reclaim that I am important and I am lovable and I'm not on the edge and I haven't been abandoned. It it often sets up a deep emotional hunger inside one Hmm. that you live with for the rest of your life sometimes. Hello, Joe. So, for those, this is this, I'm, this is the best stream to talk about this, but like, my mental health is not great. You know this. Um, in in specifically dealing with my father's death this year, last year, um, yeah, that I can't deal with. So I, I'm not ready to listen to music like that publicly with those topics. Uh, but yeah, that was that was a heavy that was a heavy voice clip there. Um, you ready to keep going? I mean, I am, but do you want to speak more on that? Because no. the fear came back. I'm good. I'm solid. You ready? Yes, I am. Um, I'm just calling to check up on you. I hope you are doing well. I just want to say you should stay focused. You know where you're coming from. So, no distractions. No, let play now. We are praying for you. You are constantly on our mind. And... We know that you know what is right, and you will keep doing what is right. All I want to do is drink, fuck, smoke, chill, party all day still. I could be the worst nigga sometimes. I got my new ringtone. Let's go. Yeah, this Rumble Mix vibes. Yeah, this Rumble Mix vibes. Yeah, this Rumble Mix vibes. 
This, this, this is horrid. <laughs> I'm not even allowed to have it. <laughs> this is horrid, Steve. All right, we're going to get this back. Let's, all right, come on. Oh First of God. all, no, we're not going to promote this on this stream. Uh, <laughs> pos- positive mental health stuff, uh, therapy, and then maybe just a little, just a little bit of this. Hello, Jude. Jude, I'm now. We're praying for you. All I want to do is drink, fuck, smoke, chill, party, all day, still. I can be the worst nigga sometimes. I can be the worst. All I want to drink, fuck, smoke, chill, party, all day, still. Uh, I can be the worst nigga sometimes. Here's what's great about this. And this, this is, no, no stop, this is my shit. This, 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 here's what's great about this. The fact that it's a dark room music vibe, because the topics that he's talking about, I always have to fucking listen to in club music. And I don't listen to club music. I don't go to clubs. I can't dance. I don't have rhythm, right? But what I can do is sit in a fucking dark room with three fingers of fucking Jack and text my exes. Like this is, we, we, we are now in Gia's gang territory. We are now in, you know what I mean? This, this is how I cope with my mentality because I don't have a therapist. Because the American healthcare system doesn't allow for that at this point. This is my therapist, and you see how that's going. What's <laughs> <laughs> your fucking therapy? I don't know what me. Oh my god, I've been trying to survive you <laughs> in your fucking dark spaces. You piece of shit. Let's 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 go. You see how they talk to be your own people, dog. Every time because it has to be your own people. I'm trying to drink, so good. Fuck. Shut up. I've been fucking ready to come over. Be- Sometimes I could be the worst, but I want to drink, fuck, smoke, chill, party, all day, still. Uh, I can be the worst, nigga. Sometimes. You can't be sad while you're doing that shit. Sometimes I can be the worst. I've got a secret, it's some deep shit. Some shit that I discovered as of recent. Is there somebody I can speak with? Somebody decent, I can trust to keep it, not to leak it. I got some shit that I've been hiding. See, that I think like that, what he's talking about again, too, reminds me of the story that I just told you about how, like, not only does he need somebody to talk to, but somebody he can trust not to leak it. That's where the whole have to go outside of the country to get the therapist and stuff like that came in. So, see, this is cool. Like, you'd be surprised how many bars I wouldn't have picked up on or knew the context to if I reacted to this when it was first requested two years ago. Like, there are certain tracks, there are certain bars, there are certain concepts that you have to know more about the culture, the artist, the individual, and things that are going around it. Like, that's actually, like, that's not, uh, that's not a bar. Like, that's real life. Like, that's not like a, hey, this fit a rhyme scheme, so I put it in there. That's storytelling. Like, there's a difference. You know what I mean? Like, that's, nah, nah, I'm, I, I'm in, I'm in right now. I'm in, I'm in. Secret is some deep shit. Okay. Some shit that I discovered as of recent. Okay. Is there somebody I can speak with? Somebody decent, I can trust to keep it, not to leave some shit that I've been hiding. If my fan base knew about it, it divide them. Cause I'm the one that they put pride in. It's exciting when they cite him. But they'd be different if they saw inside him. Ah! All right. So another thing from the interviews that I took around with this, like people, it's probably a lot of people in this chat, to be honest with you, the tribe of Judah, they go hard. They're one of those fan bases that like my guy can do no wrong type shit, right? Mm-hmm. M has been very forthcoming about how other people's opinions of him don't necessarily reflect reality, specifically when it comes to certain skill sets. So in the interview, he talked about like, hey, you know what I mean? Like when the the, the BPMs went up from fucking 85 to 88 and shit like that, like it, it was hard for him to adjust and keep up with the youngins, even though on track it comes off super smooth and polished. He was very forthcoming about like, yo, this wasn't an easy thing. I've been rapping a certain way for so many years. Like I'm setting my ways. Like he's one of the OGs and shit like that. That as times were changing and being able to adapt over the, the fucking decade and shit like that, that it wasn't something that came easy. And his fan base wouldn't agree with him on that because there are people who idolize him. There are people who like are like, nah, my guy is like 100%, has no flaws, ends a superhero, fuck your fave, 5v5 me right now, pussy. Like that's how they act about this shit. And as an artist, it's kind. Of, it's got to be like a duality of man type thing. Where it's like, A, first of all, absolutely love y'all for feeling that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, 
It's like, thank you for believing that I'm Superman. And then the, the, the duality part of it is like, stop putting that fucking pressure on me to be Superman. Like, you think this comes easy. You don't see the work that went into it. Like, there are certain hip-hop heads that understand things. I was just talking with Alpha Ogini about this, right? How he was, like, talking about Burner Boy um, and how he just did fucking Madison Square Garden. And people were complaining that he was using auto-tune live. And they're like, like, you don't even understand what a plugin is, first of all. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't understand the concept of how big it is to do Madison Square Garden. And there's 37 other plugins on that fucking mic because that's how music is. They don't understand the engineering and stuff like behind that. So if like for M's portion of this with him like saying like my fan base would be divided is because half of y'all think I'm Superman versus half of y'all do, like the, the those the true true hip hop heads who understand like I can say BPM right now and half these people have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like that that portion of it only appeals to certain motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's like yo that that this is this is this is a track that I needed to know M I in order to fully pull everything out of like that 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 I'm like my my personal reflection on this you know what I'm saying yeah why are you looking at me like that dog because that brought a part out of you that needs to be brought out like I have an opinion on that but I think your opinion is much more important (laughs) not because I don't feel like mine is important but because you needed to get that off your chest that was a oh my god let me speak on that moment and not a hey this is what I thought about moment. I don't get to have our music conversations with a lot of people online because a lot of people online are 10 years behind. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I still have conversations with people about what an entendre was. You know what I'm saying? What you're laughing, but it's, it's not funny. Like it's it's like I know that just brought me back. I, I miss being able to have the, the more in-depth conversations that you can have after somebody has the basic understanding when a lot of my audience what I'm doing is bringing people into hip hop who aren't normally into it. Like my job, what I want to do is bring the the people that we react to to a wider audience. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, sometimes I miss being able to have those in depth conversations with someone that's eye to eye with you on the topics. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like he's kind of expressing that himself and shit like that. You know what I mean? Let's get back to the track though. I'm talking too much. My bad. My bad. You're not. This is your stream. The place where you're supposed to talk. You're right. Fuck you. It's my channel. Do what we want. <laughs> I've been hiding. If my fan base knew about it, it'd divide them. Like, that's such a bar. You wouldn't know it was a bar if I didn't get that dissertation. My bad on talking. I'm just trying to, you know what I mean? Because I'm the one that they put pride in. It's exciting when they cite him. But they'd be different if they saw inside him. Well, here goes. I've been battling a deep depression. I've been pretending not can handle all of this pressure. I've been alone with all of my money and all my possessions. But it don't make me feel no better, no. I know that I'm plenty blessed, but I carry an emptiness. I use each moment of happiness to cover my sentiments. This is goat tier. This is goat tier, Emma. I'm telling you that right now. This is bring that back. Pretend to not can handle all of this pressure. Whoa. I've been alone with all of my money and all my possessions. Okay. But it don't make me feel no better, no. I know that I'm plenty blessed, but I carry an emptiness. I use each moment of happiness to cover my sentiments. My niggas saw me the other day inside an empty bands. They like you good. I was like, all I want to do is drink, fuck, smoke, chill, party all day still. So I'm a whole asshole for reacting like that in the beginning, not realizing like what that was about to slip into. But I feel like I got set up for that. He knew I was going to geek out about doing drugs in the dark. <laughs> I was set up for failure. Like, I didn't, like it's not a setup. Like when you come to art, when it's supposed to be a mirror, and you're supposed to see what you want to see. Fuck that shit, lads. <laughs> like if you're right, us. It's so many like so many artists like create their pieces and be like, "What do you think?" And and you'll say it, and like I don't I don't know, and no, the artist will be like, "No, that's exactly what." It is. You're supposed to see what the fuck you're supposed to see. See what you want to see. Bring out what the fuck is in there. Like, a lot of pieces are like, no, I want you to see this. But so many great artists are like, no. It's facts. Listen to this shit. Take what you want from it. This is my experience, and I hope you see something, like, critical. So, no, you're not wrong. You're, you'll, never, you'll never be fucking wrong. Sure. You can be the worst nigga sometimes. 
I can be the worst. All I want to drink, fuck, smoke, chill, party all day still. Uh, I can be the worst nigga sometimes. I can be the worst. Baby, let's run away, let's run away from here. Responsibility is killing me and I'm so unprepared. Everybody wants my help, they think I've got enough to share. I've been struggling for motivation, no one is aware. Oh my god! Uh, fly away, I'm trying to find some peace. And let's go hit the beach and roll up a couple trees. And let's turn off our phones so that nobody can read. Just lately, I've been acting strong, but I've been at my weakest. Yo! Fucking interviews, reporters be like, yeah, we know you. Nah, this is going to take me six hours to get through this fucking track, dog. Bring that whole fucking thing back. Holy shit. Yo, I told you this was going to be a goat tier one, though. Was I lying? Drink, fuck, smoke, chill, party, all day, still. I can be the worst nigga sometimes. I can be the worst. Never mind, I'm not doing that. We're not doing that right now. We're not doing that. Fuck, smoke, chill, party, all day, still. Uh, I can be the worst nigga sometimes. I can be the worst. Baby, let's run away, let's run away from here. Responsibility is killing me and I'm so unprepared. Everybody wants my help, they think I've got enough to share. I've been struggling for motivation, no one is aware. Uh, baby, let's fly away, I'm trying to find some peace. And let's go hit the beach and roll up a couple trees. And let's turn off our phones so that nobody can read. Just lately I've been acting strong, but I've been at my weakest. Don't want to do no fucking interviews. Reporters be like, yeah, we know you, but... Yeah, I know, motherfucker. No. I've been waiting for the interview for a year and a half. I, I believe him. That's also a bar. That's real life. I, I can tell you right now he's not lying. I can tell you right now that that's some real shit. Body can read just lately. I've been acting strong, but I've been at my weekend. Dominic, no, no, we're not. Do no fucking interviews. <laughs> we never been. Like, yeah, we know you, but please kindly introduce yourself. No, my nigga, see, I'm not trying to be rude, but I don't want to be here talking to you because I'm not in the mood. I want to fuck, drink, Yo! Smoke, chill, party, oh, day, still. Oh. I haven't been happy in such a while, and I'm looking for something that can make me smile. So let me be in the water, oh. in the water, oh. in the water. I can be the worst nigga sometimes. I can be the worst, so let me be in the water, in the water. I can be the worst. I can be the worst, so let me be in the water, in the water, in the water. I can be the worst. Lost. People were like, yo, look to God, look to God. But at a certain point, me personally, I became agnostic and then atheist. So motherfuckers like wait in the water, and I'm just like slave hymns. Like that's what I'm supposed to turn to in my darkest time. I have no money, and I'm supposed to look towards A guy that I don't believe in? Fuck. So here's a cool thing about Emma. They'll correct me on the, the things that I'm wrong about with this, too. Um, Emma's father is a, I don't know what the term is. He's a pastor, deacon, priest, something, right? I don't, I don't know. He's a pillar in the church. Right. He's a, he's a religious figure, yeah. right? So I assumed that when listening to Emma, it was going to be very didactic. I was expecting it to be very preachy. I was expecting it to be very pushing the Christian agenda, right? What I got from MI was healthy skepticism. I think that MI has, has displayed that his view on religion and his view on how humans are portraying religion are very different. And even though I think he would consider himself a religious person being raised by a, a figure in the church, that didn't stop him from being blind to the atrocities that people in power were doing. And he has used his voice on multiple tracks 
Uh, specifically with AQ, we got we gotta play that John too. He him, him and AQ got this John like talk to Jesus. One fucking time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> that, that Jesus said, that, "Yo, yo, that John is it's different, dog, because they're not bashing religious people and they're not bashing the idea of religion, but they're it's a healthy skepticism. They're they're they're, they're pushing you to just use your own mind, and I respect the shit out of that mostly because I didn't expect it. Not not very often do you hear anyone in the world that gets raised in a religious background preach the topic of think for yourself. It's usually the opposite. It's indoctrination, right? And I have never been in, – in Nigerian music, period, I have never been disappointed with healthy skepticism being pushed in their music. And they have some super super conscious. It's not just it's not just MI and AQ. They're they're incredible. They're very, they're very very top tier. You know what I'm saying? Um, but they the, the dude fouls like I don't even understand half the stuff because he, he raps uh, in Vernac and it's still, bro. You get the point. It gets the fucking point, bro. So he has a remember um, this is America when Donald Glover did it. So uh, Fouls did a drone called This is Nigeria. And he literally, like, as as Donald Glover was, like, walking through the shit and you've seen all the shit that we're, we're dealing with and we're facing with, you know what I'm saying, in America, he did a version of it for Nigeria. And one of the things was about, like, how pastors cop a feel or they use, you know what I'm saying, they, they, they use their position to molest women in the sake of, I'm taking the Holy Spirit out of you or some shit like that. You know what I mean? The most prominent thing I hear from people raised in like the church atmosphere, slurping noises. Wow, I mean, the yeah, it, it's it's GSK. it's it's you know what it is. Problematic. It was one time. Was, <laughs> we're not talking about that right now. We're not talking about that now. Why are you trying? Like, I'm trying to have a real conversation, and you trying to get me kicked out. It because... was one time. She loved it. Look, my point was that the narrative in Nigerian hip hop is very self aware. And I have not experienced them trying to push an agenda outside of think for yourself. And that's very refreshing because American anything, we're always trying to push our agenda, period. I don't know too much music where it's like think for yourself. Like there is like shoot, shout out to Loudmouth. You know what I'm saying? Like they they make music that's very, very specifically for it and shit like that. And it's like, um, I need you to play tone in the conversation for Elijah. Maybe. This was a cool live session. Steve is a very good memory. Thank you. Look at this. I didn't even read any of these comments. I'm, I'm going to go, guys. I'm going to go back and read these comments. I'm sorry. I got very, very into that. Uh, we're going to finish this track out. This is going to take, I told you this is going to take us a lot. We're not even done yet. Oh, here we go. Oh, this the beat. Also, if it's not clear, this is easily the best track on the album so far. This, this John is, is insane. Most powerful. Yeah, hey, hey. Time to be in the world. So let me be in the water. In the water, in the water, I can be the worst nigga sometimes. I can be the worst, so let me be in the water, in the water, in the water. I can be the worst. I can be the worst. So this track is amazing. Awesome. I need you to pause awesome. because they have the wrong the wrong idea about you. They think you're a genius. What are you talking about? Talking about? The chat. Oh, I the chat I'm thinks you're a genius. And while I think you're exceptionally gifted, I also know that you have rooted yourself in this music, in this culture. You have done the research and you have spent two fucking years Stop. immersing yourself in this. So while you do have a gift, this is a gift that a lot of other people have, like people got you up here. And like choosing not to use it for that purpose. And you're like here. This is a great chance actually. Keep in mind, I know you guys are here for the MI reaction. Uh, this is your reminder that this is still a charity event stream. We are doing this to raise awareness and donations and funds for the Chess and Slums movement in Nigeria. Please take this time if you haven't. Check the donation link if you're able to do it. It's down in the description. Retweet their tweets. Dive into them. 
um, don't lose track of why we're here just because we're getting into some really dope conversations. The point of this is to raise awareness for a movement that I believe is doing very, very good for children who need it. And bro, this is our this is our first time being able to do this. This is our first time being able to 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 push an agenda outside of hey, please subscribe and click and t and touch shit for me. This is the first time that we get to now build this platform and, and, and use something else for it. So don't please don't lose sight of that as we go through this. My bad. It's fine because I'm not trying to like take away from you. I'm actually trying to I like I didn't say you were no, build no, no, no. the house that you've created. Like you've worked to be this knowledgeable and this insightful about the artists and the culture and what they're talking about. You've put in the time to be knowledgeable. And so like for people to say you're a genius, that actually takes away from you actually being smart and you working hard. It's a combination. You have immersed yourself. In if you don't love me like this, don't love me at all. <laughs> this is why I said that loyalty shit, where he said loyalty is hard to come by. Y'all just don't have the right people in your corner, right? Y'all come here. This, if you don't love me like this, then don't subscribe at all. Everybody needs an Elijah in their corner, dog. I just don't want people to be like, oh, he's naturally you no. Know. This motherfucker they, put they, the they time know. In. This is just you saying. They, they know. They taught me all this shit. They're the ones like I, the, the the Gia's gang is a is a fucking cornerstone of everything that I'm able to do is because they facilitated the translations, the 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 context, the the order of operations that things happen to and shit like that. Like, it's, it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? All right, let's finish. Let's keep going. going. Let's keep going. Yeah. He's you're cringing. I just want to take this opportunity to individually tell Victor to go fuck himself. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. This is like we still with the violence. Like, don't. It's not soft because I got a guest here. All right, it's not soft because we're doing mental health stuff. You can still suck a dick, my guy. Like, all right, come on. We 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 back to the nah. Cool, you chill. I'm, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna get. Come on, focus, focus. We all right. We got. What's the last one? We about to finish yeah, out strong. We about to finish one. out strong. Finish out strong. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, love will cease. That's a mouthful. Let's go. to remain and wherever there are tongues let them speak with the voice let them keep to the voices of the people down below uh, underneath all the dirt no time to reverse to solve she wants to kill herself she doesn't feel herself fail her doctors gave her more pills that don't break to her shit Open a whole sense of light to her soul. She thinks the doctors are dumb. Feels just made her feel numb. She's scared to talk to her people. Told her mama she weeps. Her mama ran told her pastor. Her pastor gave a long speech. She nods and agrees. Inside she already knows. They pray in hard that it. Bro, this is. I was expecting. This is how you end an album out, my boy. This is how you end an album out. I don't got any more damages. That's what they said. Holy shit. I told you he sang on shit. I said that earlier. I said he does sing on shit. And he hits melodies too. Oh, fuck. Hey, hey. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, love will cease to remain. And wherever. I don't hear it. I don't. Like, if this is M singing, then I, I, I don't like. It doesn't sound like M. There are times. Let them speak with right. the voice. Let them speak to the voices of the people down below. Underneath all the dirt, no time to refer. Yeah, see, it's somebody else and M I. M I is like ad libbing along with it. That, that's, that's, that sounds way more on point with this this is because this voice is just like i've heard him sing it doesn't sound like that he's got like a more of a bass to him 
She wants to kill herself. She doesn't feel herself fail. Her doctors gave her more pills. That don't break through her shield. It don't open a whole sense of light to her soul. She thinks the doctors are dumb. Pills just made her feel numb. She's scared to talk to her people. Told her mom that she weeps. Her mama ran to her pastor. Her pastor gave her long speech. She nods and agrees. Inside she already knows. They pray in hard that it goes. Instead the sadness just grows. Most days it feels like a noose. Round the neck never loose. She's tense from morning to eve. She don't need no masseuse. And when there's nobody there. Sometimes she's gasping for air. Like she's drowning in nothing. It's dark with cold and despair. I used to watch. She's got a beautiful life I realize that though they see the sky Some wings cannot fly When I say I understand She knows I'm telling a lie So I just sit by her side She's made a promise to try I've never felt But where there are prophecies Love will cease to remain And wherever there are tongues Let them speak with the voice Let them heed to the voices Of the people down below uh, underneath all the dirt with no time to reverse this obvious If you need me home, I'll sit by your side Fireworks and butterflies First you gotta promise to try ah. When it's spark, it's dark when it ends. But the fire works, will spark again. And I'm good when I'm good. And I'm mad when I'm mad. I'm sad when I'm sad. It's just who I am. I can change who I am. I change who I do. It's my cool. I find this so hard to pause. This is a very beautiful track. Um, wow. This is the statement that he just made there. What a powerful way to end the album and, and summarize it up. I just, I'm sad when I'm sad. I just am who I am. Like, yo, like, that's that's such a good synopsis of everything and shit. Like, establishing yourself as human. Like, that's, that's what that whole album's about, dog. And, like, bro, yeah, that was, this, this is, this is, when you talk about crafting an album too, like, I judge people a lot on, on picking a bad track to end with you know what i mean like it doesn't feel like a natural conclusion or a cohesive project and that's that's just not the case right now this this is this is the only way to end this album this was dope hey. it's bright when it's spark it's dark when it ends but the fire works will spark again and i'm good when i'm good and i'm mad when i'm mad Sad when I'm sad, it's just who I am. I can change who I am. I change who I do. It's not cool. Cause I am not cool. And I am not you. You are not me. You shouldn't see. But we don't be. I don't know. Follow the loss. Follow the leader. Follow the leader. Follow who we do. Don't know who he is. But I know who I am. I can change who I am, and I've been through it, been through it, been through it. No, this is not music, it's emotion, just emotion. Time show me the problem, time show me the solution, time show me the problem. Oh, the distortion on the fade, dog. No, I love that shit. Yo, I can, yo, this, that's the production shit that geeks me out, dog. What the artistic direction is so impeccable, so fucking perfect, dog. Like let's let's go. That's it. That's the album. What you think, my god? This was a journey for you. This is your turn to talk. What did you think about the album? Be honest too. Be honest? Yeah. The big impression that I get from the complete body of work, no skips. This was a beautiful journey. This was a a commentary on who he is, what he's going through. And what the culture presents to him in Nigeria, mm -hmm. in Nigeria, 
this along with you because I needed just a little bit of backstory and a little bit of like I probably talk too much on this reaction. No, but not I, at all. Because like I'm not, I don't know anything about this. Right. So I'm going into this literally raw, and you're like, here's what you need to know. Here's what it looks like. Here's what he here's who he's talking to. Because he's not talking to me. Right. He's talking to other Nigerian men or other men who have dealt with the situation. So this is actually beautiful for his demographic. And for the motherfucker who's trying to understand, like, who he is as an artist, where he is now, like, this was amazing. This was a great, great album. No skips. None at all. Let me ask you this. Now, as a DJ, as an American DJ, <clears throat> I don't know that this album is is club material. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, this isn't this type of shit that you would play there. But as somebody who is actively pursuing the American ear... In your opinion, do you think that Americans would fuck with MI? Honestly. Honestly, yes. But they wouldn't fuck with him in the club setting. Now, I agree with that. I am a DJ, meaning I provide music for different settings. So the club scene is just a scene where I make the most money. Like There are other scenes. There's a lounge scene. He'd be great for a fucking lounge. He has a lot of Afrobeat vibes. He has a lot of melodic songs. He has songs that are broken up in the like chorus, verse, chorus, verse, intro, outro. There are a lot of great produced songs where I could just play his instrumental and talk over it, and it'd be great for the setting. Like, he has a great production team, and he can absolutely be on the radio in America, and he can absolutely be in a club not tracks from this album be in the club because it's like really slow and really like you have to think about it. And if I'm on off the Casamigos, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to want to take that trip because I'm going to cry and call my ex. Same. Yeah. So like, but he understands how to make a body of work and his production team can make it melodic. So he has a lot of potential to be on radios and to be in America. So in your now also in your opinion, would you rate him amongst American MCs as your first listen into Nigerian hip hop? Like we're like like in the in America, like you and I will talk about rap, right? And we'll be like, we we know who's who, right? Like you know who the God tier is, who in my opinion, you know who the, the A tier is, the S tier, the B, so on and so forth, right? In off one listen, obviously, right? On mm -hmm. your first album impression, what tier would you put him in off one listen? So we have to talk about the trash because they're the bottom of the barrel. Mm -hmm. Kodak and them, them <laughs> don't, scene rappers. We, yeah, we don't need to talk other names. This is not promoting or dis or dissing anybody else. I, I just want to hear I, a, I get what I get what you're saying. He's much above them. Okay. Then there are the iconic scene rappers, and I believe he's above them. Okay. Then there are the actual lyrical rappers who still try to make music for all different like areas in America. The versatile cats. Yes. I got you. The Merkins. I feel like he's with them. Okay. I, I agree. I, th I think he, he definitely um, he definitely has a hand in a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Purposely. Right, I don't necessarily like all of it because I don't like American club music. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna suddenly start liking it because you know what I mean. Somebody else does it, um, but I, I would say so. That's interesting. So you, so you would rate him a uh, amongst the versatile cats. Yes, and I believe he can actually like go further than that and actually provide like some dope ass music with fucking conscious ass runs. Let me let me play two tracks for you. So this is my first time ever listening to this album, right? I mean, and I'm, I'm going to include this. What are we at? Almost two hours? I don't care. I'm going to include it in this reaction instead of waiting for the next one. I'm going to play two tracks for you that solidified in my mind which tier he would be in. Okay. All right? I could do a lot more now that I'm thinking about it, but there's two specifically that sound nothing alike that are two entirely different tracks, right? So based on what you're talking about, this is probably one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard in my life. This is on so many of my fucking playlists right now. Let me let me pull this up. Did he do the message? No, I didn't do the <laughs> message. Did someone ask about that? 
Oh, you ain't gonna say it for me? They don't know about that. They should know about that. I, I brush my teeth to the message. That's the best song to come out of Africa. I don't care. That's that's my shit. I'll die on that hill. Shout out the flame. He knows. He knows too. I don't stand very much. When I heard that man's music, that man speaks to my soul. He he made that shit for me particularly. He, he, see his reaction to me just saying the message. That's how. That's, how tell, that's my shit, dog. I love that fucking track. <laughs> Uh, let's go. Look at this. It's literally. I, I'm, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna play it, and and I don't want to influence you, but I, you're gonna you're gonna see how this goes. You feel me? Okay. I'm good. You know, Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance. It's the only paper which I got. Like how I customize. Oh, I thought it was a thing. Hold on. This scarf. Yeah, Check out this backpack I made for Marco. Mm-hmm. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Yo, you're beautiful like America, baby, yeah. And you take your bath on a regular. I miss you, my girl. Love man, probably. Can't talk when you walk past the air. Girl, just like you when you wind up my life. Yo, so baby. How much time I not tell you, so tell me what my yo. Baby, see the big man shot for the hill, me what my yo. You give me encouragement to come. When you smile, you look brand new. And then you hear where you come when I sponsor you. I must be partial to sign you. I love it when we chillin' and we just gistin'. I tell you what my day and you just listen. You always stand when I need you, girl, you consistent. I'm never happy when I travel to a long distance. I'm on the phone, video call, and I got trust issues. And I just miss you when I'm in love with you. You're like my twin, I feel it when there's something wrong with you. Anytime, day and night, holler, I'll come get you. And all of my possessions, we can split in two. Like what will happen to my heart if I am not with you? Many times when you don't notice, I just look at you. When you're not around, I look at pics I took with you. I memorize all your features, the way your body can move it. I know I'm not there yet, but I'm steady improving. You love me though you see all of my faults and all I'm human. And when I piss you off, I'm like, damn, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm the person that loves you the way you are. Everybody else went away, but here you are. I bless the day your mom went to labor and me to star. Bless the day that God's me worthy to keep your heart. You provide balance like spreading my feet apart. Whenever I need a spark, you help me to meet the mark. You spill the family tree, I want you to be the bark. You cover me in the dark whenever the weather's harsh. I <laughs> down in fever. I call you queen, you call me Caesar. God did not make no fire. A creature, you are my equal, you not weaker. I have the sound and give me speaker. I give all of my love to the last reserve. And any girl trying to distract me, get curved. Cause the woman I'm with, I will never deserve it. My girl, I call your damn pretty. I'm a wolf, it's beyond the body. What? This is one of the best songs I've ever heard in my life, though. What? Yeah. And you start talking about like the club scenes and can you do this? Can he can he do it? You tell me if he can do it. I didn't ask if he could do it. You listen, don't talk. 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 I don't want to understand it either. In return, I want them to say it just like that. Just like that. I want be my bark, bitch. Be my bark. Then yo said she's been loaded that you hear me not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little boy couldn't do a pia. She sees a future to me. And that's why she's loving me. Love you in the sun and the rain. Me give you house and children. Say, How much time I not tell you, say, girl, me want my yo, baby. See the big mansion, but the hill, me want my yo. They give me encouragement to continue, when you smile, you look brand new. And then you hear where you come and I sponsor you, I must be partial to design you. So, baby, how much time I not tell you, say, girl, me want my yo. This is the best song I've ever heard in my life, to send to a female that you like, there's nothing that I can think of. Like, I started like old school Usher and shit like that. But like, I'm not, I'm not talking about it. like that shit don't count, right? Like, we not we not doing you got a bad no more. Like, it's not that's, that's, that's not the vibes right now, right? If you send this right now, if you're watching this and you have someone that you really really love and you really really fuck with and shit like that, and you send this to them, they will they will they will fucking they will UPS you the pussy. They will fucking. Package that shit up with a wedding ring, put it, stamp it, pay for the fucking everything, and just whew, take it. Like that's 
This is this is all any woman has ever wanted to hear from any man ever. Eloquently put in one fucking thing. This, this bro, I'm trying to tell you, but hold on. I'm, they they they're gonna they're gonna roast. I, I ain't reading none of these comments in a minute. Uh, I know they're roasting me, but they're not. They're actually on your side. Are they? All right, yeah. good. I you got you. one motherfucker about the Texas X. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone's stopping them. That's GS Gang love right there. <laughs> so this track is what? 105 to 109 BPM, meaning it's like that party shit. Mm-hmm. Well, at that party speed. So this is definitely club shit. Um, he's talking about his ex, which is going to get all the women to request it. Mm. Uh, he's very clear and distinct. He has a very clear structure, so I can definitely mix it. Bro, it's fucking and good. the beat is just <laughs> okay. Yes, he all has right. that club shit. Now let's 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 switch tracks a little bit. This is this is this is a little different. Uh, I can't do the videos because it's gonna get flagged. Here we go. The audio. <laughs> And everything I've learned in my life I could try to sing you a song About how living is strong And how loving is long You could be a king for a day The next day be in change Live your life, my nigga Let the tears wash away the stain I have seen the paper turn a man against a maker Started getting bread and now he don't respect the baker Niggas think they landed, now they trying to own the acre I'm just watching from the brothers, how you see Jamaican Jesus see these rappers, watch them all forsaken Peace I wish upon you though, assalamu alaikum Keep my hand to myself, you can never shake him Hand is on my rifle just in case I try to take him I don't see brothers turn their back against my brothers Niggas think I'm toast but no, my bread is always buttered Me I never eat alone, my family is covered Y'all with every loyal motherfucker I just Covered. Gotta get a what? room, I got some roaches in my cupboard If a nigga tripping, nah. I could Nah, we not listening to this without a pullback Fuck you, let's go again Fuck that, I, trust me I, They'll tell you, I call M. Mal on every fucking line I don't like ever I don't give a fuck, I'm not one of those cock riders <laughs> Nothing like that This shit can do no wrong This, this, I'm Just listen, and just listen, dog No, like, I, I love listen This is not what to talk to, I don't want your opinion I have seen the paper turn a man against a smoker Started getting bread and now he don't respect the baker Niggas think they land and now they trying to own the acre I'm just watching from the brothers, how you see Jamaican Jesus see these rappers, watch them all forsaken Peace I wish upon you though, assalamu alaikum Keep my hand to myself, you can never shake them Hand is on my rifle just in case they try to take them I done seen brothers turn their back against these brothers Niggas think I'm toast but no, my bread is always buttered Me I never eat alone, my family is covered Y'all with every loyal motherfucker I discovered Gotta get a broom, I got some roaches in my cupboard If a nigga tripping, I could do without the luggage people left the family and started chatting rubbish gangs is moving silence i got shit that i could publish according to the business is established i could never walk away and leave my people vanish broke the heart at once but it's all right though i can manage proof to all the fakers wish you blessings as you vanish proof ask me to cover from the damage cps look for me to show what the plan is painting the classic got my brush against the canvas genius is so lonely because nobody understands us. Everything I've learned in my life I It's the rap, baby, they know How about how living is strong Look, man And how I love it Yo, I listened to this man Beef with another man we won't talk about And he didn't raise his voice even once I raised my voice for him I was in here screaming I, I, I was in here flipping out I was in here like, yo, and this man talked to him He talked to him like this He said, you are not shit Maybe one day you could get to that. <laughs> that can never happen. Get the what? <laughs> so when I finally got him on a track and I heard the rock actually come out, bro, this was a moment. This was a GS Gang moment when this happened. This is when the rock, like, bro, like, I'm trying to tell y'all, this is different. Hey, this, Dominic, shush. We're not trying to, we're not trying to get that shot oh, out. <laughs> no, no narcs. <laughs> you could be a king for a day. The next day be a king. Your life, my nigga. Look 
I have seen the best turn to be the least direction. You smoke the first duration, that's the fucking intersection. What should have inspired you will ask for protection. Your highness, are you low enough to run against protection, huh? I have seen pretenders, too numerous to mention. Stand upon falsehood. Fake by extension, man must pay the gravity, the price for his ascension. If you think I'm talking to you, nigga, this is near the veteran. Yes! I have seen kings not aware of their successors, waiting in the wings, they're blinded by their successes. That's why I try to give you every detail of my essence. Until your time has come, you will be blessed within my presence. I earn the crown and then return to sit among the peasants. How should they be saved unless I bring to them a message? How should they improve unless they sit and hear my lessons? Trying to usher in the future. I got a few confessions. Ah! Many are Called chosen are the few, following my teachings, the actions of the Jew. Never lack for anything, their ration is renewed. Cause cash is no distraction when the passion is the glue. I've been instrumental, learned the fundamentals, over sentimental, in my fucking mental. Got myself a pencil, then I wrote my name in history. Why they trying to race a man? Shit is just a mystery to me. Everything I've learned in my life, I can try to sing it with songs. About how living is short and how so like this is why when the girl track came on, I had to be like, listen, it's not for you, trust me. <laughs> this is you know what I'm saying? Like if I was a 16-year-old girl, I could see myself being because you gotta know that like if you don't know that this stuff is there, and that's the first drone you ever hear, it's easy to get turned off, right? I can see you looking at me like, oh, this is what we're doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, like I'm trying to tell you, like it's it's very, very real. Like we're 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 in, we're in. Loving is long. You could be a king for a day. The next day be a James. Live your life, my Look, we got some donations going. Shelly is in the building. Uh, GS gang, please, please, please show love. We got people who are in the chat actively donating um to the stream to the to the to the charity, right? To the I'm so fucking caught up on this. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot about the whole shit, right? To the chess and slums charity stream. I get too much into the hip hop shit, though. Don't get the rah rah shit out, though. Fucking, this is, this, this, shout out to Shelly. Shelly, I absolutely love you. Shelly does wonderful, wonderful work. She represents EST. Huge shout out to MGK's community. Um, that's, this is so much love. It's so much love. Let's finish this out. You got one more. I got to, I, apparently I got to play one more. I think we got 10 yeses. Did we get 10 yeses? We got so more than 10. Yeah. It's an okay track. Um, the Viper, it's, it's okay. It's, it's an okay diss track. It's, I don't believe you. He would have to fight me. <laughs> if M dropped the Viper on me, I would not respond. I would fly to Nigeria, find the shortest man there, and kick him in the fucking teeth. That is the only proper, that's the only way you can catch a W. It's the only way to catch a W. Do you remember what Kev on stage said when Pusha T dropped the Drake on this uh, with yeah. Adonis? You have to fight that man. You have to go to Virginia and punch him in the mouth. That's that's the like we we going let's let's do this. Let's do this. This is the last one. This is the last one and we are about to to end this stream and we are going to come back after a 15 minute break and we're getting into the battle rap Nigeria side of things. Please come back. Please stick around for it. Please continue to donate to the stream. Uh it's going to be super dope. We're going to listen to a little something called The Viper. It was it was the Usher bar. That that's what did it for me. I wasn't expecting it. He said something like to usher in a chain that had to give my confessions or something like that. <laughs> and I wasn't expecting it, but it was fucking fire when it when it connected. And I'm just like, all right, oh, shit. we're done with the Rob shit, though. We're done with the We're done with the Rob shit. We're, uh, this um, is, what, this is, what do you need to know about this? All right, um, so a couple things you need to know. Am I a real name is Jude. Uh, the character named Vector uh, goes by Vector the Viper. So there's a lot of flips religious snake type ideas Flips. both of them have taken very they both took a high road against each other the 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 idea was you don't put people on you don't put people on you don't do this you don't this was m's fi m finally responded with this and when you only drop one single track against a chihuahua yapping at you there's usually a reason for it. And we're gonna show you the reason real quick. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. 
Thy father's children shall bow down before the ten of the hymns shall the gathering of the people be. And so the viper wants the world with thee. The OG called and said, Joel, my don't reward him, be remember. Building bridges been our priority. Remember who you are, Judah, promise me. And so I swore by my name, there is no higher authority. I will not destroy you, instead I give you maturity. Your soul is unclean, your heart is full of impurity. And jealousy, jealousy, nigga, jealousy. I, yeah. This is in the disc, this is truth. Listen, this is wisdom I'm giving to you, cause you my youth. You can never battle Judah, the fault set in is lose. That's why I choose when you raise your alarm to hit that snooze. You always hated me. Your very first line of your first single showed how you rated me. But Larry, see, I've always rated you. You know, be made to me, though. You should look up to me like your pilot. I'm happy my son is taller. Doesn't mean you won't abolish, chale. You've had a jealous heart since you was a child. That's why everybody who loves you ends up used and defiled. Choosing to now, blaming everyone but yourself. Already fake when no one knew you and then fame didn't help Look how you treated YSG when them niggas really believed in you Fucking snake, you always bite the hand of people feeding you Hey, you was your guy, you did nothing to help him blossom No, but since he's been around me, that nigga been doing awesome, yo Your manager and cousin gave you all cause he believed When he got arrested, he sat in jail with you and wouldn't leave But I sure had the odds, got rid of nigga just like a weave And he still put you on a CV, we gave him a job at CCC We ride by lifting others, who you lifted? Nobody in all these years can save a to put them in position Wow, you sinned against the order of heaven That's Hold on, I gotta give Tucci a shout out this one because I actually missed that bar the first time that I heard it. But vector, as in like the math vector, nobody put your position. The vector, the like, is that that? Mm, hold on, let's. let's I'm sorry. Did he sat in jail with you and wouldn't leave? But I your sure had the odds. Got rid of nigga just like a weave, and he still put you on a CV. We gave him a job at CCC. We ride by lifting others. Who you lifted? Nobody in all these years can save a vector. Put them in position. Wow. You sinned against the order of heaven. That's why God has brought you to me to be reborn and forgiven. My. Ten out of ten. <laughs> I don't know if y'all noticed about me, but I used to be a math tutor. So math bars. Have Why the fuck would they know that about you? I, I, I know they don't. <laughs> I That's what I'm saying. Math bars have a special place in my heart. I don't need to listen to more. I'm going to listen to all of it. But this is a 10 out of 10 because math bars. Because math bars. Because math bars. something you got to deal with. <laughs> Nigga, let's pray. Pray, pray. Behold, I have given you authority to tread upon the viper and any serpent, and over all the power of your enemies. I swear by my name, there is no higher authority. I will not destroy you, instead I give you maturity. I'm trying to save your life, Larry. That's my priority, cause you let jealousy, jealousy, fuck your legacy up, yeah. This is in a this, this is compassion. This is Papa talking to you instead of giving you passion. I know your fans are gonna demand that you revenge, but will they crowd fun for you when it's time to pay your rent? I'm willing and able. I put 20 million on the table, that's budget for you to spend. And CC will float your label, just swallow your pride. Let me show you how to be king. You came with chickens to my spot, but didn't buy chicken wings. Let your niggas fly, it's my spot, y'all can eat free food. Should be you with. I also received 576 explanations about the chicken wing line. I don't feel like getting into it. M owns a spot. Homeboy showed up with some Johns and couldn't afford the food or didn't buy the food or some shit like that. He was just looking to start. I, I don't know. They, they explained a lot. They're very passionate about that line. So please don't talk about it. I got nothing but comments about that line for six months after I roasted it on my first reaction. And I don't feel like reliving those comments. <laughs> If for my reply, so let me CC you. You have a choice. Also, a, hand that a lot of the CC shit that you're missing is Chalk City. It's Chaco City, so that's the that's the label. So a lot of the CC CC Johns is actually all name flips that mm -hmm. I, you you will or won't pick up on. You know what I mean? Float your label, just swallow your pride. Let me show you how to be king. You came with chickens to my spot, but didn't buy chicken wings. Let your niggas fly. It's my spot. Y'all can eat free food. Should be you waiting for my reply, so let me CC you. You have a choice. Take my hand and let me. He's saying, let me CC you. The same way he just offered you the record deal. I'm going to give you 20 minutes. I'm going to float your label. Let me CC you. Let me get you on Chalks. Free you. I hear you're roasting in your girl's place. Your beast being here. You're not even top five from your robot land. More than D by do that green red me YC and files. I'm on CBQ. When I'm the go to tell me what I gain if me beat you. I'd rather me teach you so you can reach. And that will never happen. 
So when you old, your children ask you what happened, cause people laughing, just tell them daddy was jealous while rapping. Daddy was jealous from birth, was jealous since I destroyed him. Jealousy looking at other sperm cells, wishing you choke him. Daddy was jealous of your mother, and that's how I fucked myself. Daddy was jealous of MI, but damn, I should have stopped myself one day on stage, and daddy started blabbing. The reason why is when MI and I would fly together, we'd sit in different cabins. When daddy saw MI cycle, when jealousy got the best of him, MI was telling Hennessy, pay the rappers who rap in the dead. He thought he was about him and tried to send him a message. And MI taught dad a lesson, and daddy made full confessions. Then daddy stopped being jealous, and daddy became a blessing. Daddy said, yeah, Tito and Boogie were disrespected. Then daddy's daddy, MI said, my son, your gift is special. Remember, just don't be jealous. God wants you to be your best on my son. <laughs> All this noise and seizures is because you didn't get a feature, nigga, damn. I'm always helping people shine, you got the same platform. Worry about yours, not about mine, my nigga, damn. I still love you like a son, so I promise that you can diss me how you want. I won't respond to you. But after dropping your diss track, I hope you sit and listen back to everything that M.I. spat because it's true. It's better to give than to receive it, so I'm giving you for free a gift. And between you and me, you know I'm right, right, right. So give them what they want to see, get all your memes and your retreats, but just don't only win the beef, win in life. They call me short man at the headies, and I could have been real petty, but my head is always heavy from the ground. Jack City wanna do in biz, and now my shares can help you feed your kids when you sign, I built that from the ground. You came and drank at the place I own, I'm trying to help you get your own line, Ray, I represent the higher power. I represent the voice of God to you. So all these years, you ain't help one person. You ain't put one person on, you ain't sign nobody. It's no manager, no artist, no fashion designer, no connected to you doing well. It's because your heart is fucking bitter. When I heard the fashion designer line the first time, dog, go back and watch my reaction to this shit. In good chance, dog. No fucking fashion designer! Look at look They know! They know, dude! It wasn't even a rap bar. The fashion designer line hit so hard. You didn't have to go there. He said, like, the manager thing made sense. Artist thing made sense. Like, he pulled fashion designer out of no. Like, dog, he's right. Like, look, and I think, I think, I think he may or may not have a sibling that's a fashion designer, which made that hit even harder. <laughs> Someone said that in the comments. I didn't fact check it, so I mean, they'll, they'll correct me if I'm wrong. Yo, that's it, man. It's a wrap. Um, we're going to take a 15-minute break, and this is going to post in 15 minutes. We're going to come back, and we're going to dig into a lot of Battle Rap Nigeria content. Uh, Jung and Flo Show looks like they sent me over a lot of ch uh, the ch shit to check out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I love y'all so much. This has been an incredible day. The donations are coming in for the charity. Like that's 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 the most important thing. Take this opportunity, guys. As of right now, um, when we're gonna take this 15 minute break, use your break to go and check out the Chess and Slums movie. It's exactly as it is. Chess and Slums. Check them out on Twitter. Check them out on IG. And like like dead ass like. Remember why we're here. I appreciate you guys coming for the reactions. I appreciate you guys loving the energy. You get to see me and, and how I put other motherfuckers onto the music and shit like that. But, like, it's a it's not about me. It's not about him. It's not about M right now. It's about the kids. So take this opportunity. Go and retweet some of their shit. Try and raise awareness. And, uh, and also make sure you tap in with MI's contest that he has right now about the PVC and going out to vote and, and pushing it for the rappers. Take the message, though. Take the message from the, take the message from the fucking, um, take the message from the album we reviewed about taking your mental health serious, about it being not emasculating to, to speak to a therapist or speak to a woman about your feelings. Take away from the, the, the contests that are being run to go and get your PVC, register to vote. If you like everybody in, in period, if you go on Twitter, all people do is bitch all day long. The fucking beat was fire. <laughs> like, like, you, voice once. Stop it. I'm giving my monologue. I know, God, but like, it, the fucking beat was like, it was the, it was the. Go busy. vote. Vote is the only way to complain. He said it in the john. If you want to complain. How you voice your complaints is by going and voting for change. I can't tell you to vote for it because I'm not a smart man. I don't follow politics. But I do know that it's better than doing nothing, especially if you're the type to be vocally disappointed in your government. You feel me? 
So take that away from the stream. I hope you guys loved it. I hope you had a good time. I, You guys mean more to me than you'll ever know. We'll be back in 15 minutes. Check out Chess and Slums. As always, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I will catch y'all in 15 minutes.